doing? I'll be back. All right, honey, honey, the honey man and honey lady. I'll be back. Monday, Wednesday, 5.30 to 6.30. And it's free. And anyone can come. Um, we gonna be oh. Hey, how you doing? I two minutes to talk to Robert Hill over the radio. Okay, she read. Okay, All right, my cameraman, come on up here and get them lined down. Come on up here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the line dancers. Tell me what they doing the line dance.
to do a live uh, talk, so I got to come down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for an interview. We want to thank Pensacola Finest, and I tell you, I would say the love crew. They know how to dance. Let's give it up. Give it up. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Okay. I didn't know you were such a good dancer. I'm not. I fumbled all over the place. I know my left from right, but I didn't know how to count. So <laughs> what well, I tell you, I couldn't tell you. I missed the world. Uh, you guys are in the class with Vern? Are you guys dancing with the dance Oh, we have. Prior okay. to the pandemic, we were. Okay. Going okay. up to Studio 61 to okay. learn how. To, to learn dance. how. I, I need to be part of that class yes, too. Yes. So. Well, you ever know, miss that Wasa? I forgot what day, but she gives it free at the health department. Okay. So like to try I'm, that I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna look mm-hmm. for her in a few minutes, mm-hmm. and we're gonna take her up on that. Yes. Maybe I can get a few steps. In. Yeah. <laughs> Come on up there with me and help me out with my stuff. Come on, because I want to get so bad. <laughs> <laughs> We are live on the air, and we just thank everybody for listening and looking at WBQP TV 12. Uh, We want to thank my boss, Mr. Vernon Watson. Hello, boss. Hey, Mr. Watson. (laughs) Thank you. We are so grateful that we are here today, and I tell you that the weather looks good. It is very uh, sunny. God is uh, grace is shining and shining down yeah. on us. Look at that oh. drum, yeah. Wow, over us, Doctor Powell. Yeah, one of one, that's one of Doctor John Powell told us. Okay, now yeah. what a wonderful he, he, he got he got he got a little fancy, yeah. Oh yes, he yeah. <laughs> has. And that thing ain't moving. It, it ain't yeah. gonna go down. It'll stay right there to the battery. Yeah. To the battery go a little low. Then yeah. Come down on his own. Taking advantage and looking. A good overview, isn't it? A good yeah. overview. All righty. Thank you so much, W-R-N-E. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, Pensacola. I am Troy Mims. I'm live on location right here at True for Youth, Belmont and the Villas. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the first annual Gulf Coast Community Love Affair. Ladies and gentlemen, we are self-sustaining. Let's strive together and let's grow and prosper. That is the theme. And ladies and gentlemen, I have Dr. Steele here with me, the organizer, the visionaire of this great great event. How are you today, Dr. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking me. That's good. That's good. I like that dancing you was doing a while ago. They was doing some line dancing mm-hmm. out here. I tell you, uh, Pensacola Police Department, they were dancing. Mm-hmm. I didn't know those guys could dance. They did it better than I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at them. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, tell everybody all the good things you got going on. Okay, well, we got the Pensacola Police Department and the Fire Department is over there with them, uh, grilling hamburgers and hot dogs Sweet to our guests. Uh, we have fish uh, in the front on Belmont. We have a kids' corner for kids to come and play. Uh, uh, that's sponsored by uh, Two for Youth, Reverend John Powell. We have all of our vendors out. Not as many vendors that signed up, but I think there was a little confusion with the weather. You know, we were expecting, some were expecting rain, and, and it was very cloudy when we started out this morning at 7 a.m., so we were kind of, you know, feeling a little uncomfortable. But we have been blessed with a beautiful day, and we're going to be here for a while. We have uh, entertainment that goes on through about 8 p.m. tonight, along with our vendors. They're scheduled to stay as long as they want. Uh, but most will probably stay until five. So please come out and 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 look at what they have to offer in their products. These are people who have their homemade products out here. We have authors, we have 
uh, beauty care products that are homemade from uh, a vendor. We have clothing. We have um, books to sell. We have candied apples and cupcakes. We have jewelry. We have some politicking going on with some of our representatives and some of our politicians uh, who want to us to vote for them. And so it's a green style day. Uh, so come out and do what you can to support the community, never fear. Uh, the reason for the event is so that we can build our love together and appreciate one another even the more in this community. And it's such a grand feel anywhere in our life to feel love. So we want the community to feel the love as well. So that's why we're here, uh, to show love, uh, to get about who organized it. Just come receive some love. And if you have love to bring, bring it on. We sure do need you to come out today. Things are, are pumping up somewhat. But we really don't want you to miss any of the entertainment that's scheduled this afternoon into the evening. So thank you for listening, and I appreciate WRNE for allowing us to be on, and uh, we're just going to move forward. And I, I have to come back and do the wobble, you know, and so uh, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. That's so great. That's so great. Well, I tell you, Ms. Uh, uh, WRNE, we are, we are live on location, also uh, Choice 106.9 and uh, WBQP. Uh, we are live on location at Belmont and the Villas. Come on out. Come on out. I'll tell you, they got some unique, crafted, homemade items. And I'll tell you, it's very unique. You won't find it anywhere but here. But at Truth For You parking lot at Belmont and the Villas. Back to you, Mr. He uh, Mr. Hill. Go ahead and tell the people about that if you're live. Oh, okay. Well, since I'm still live, I want to welcome you again to the Community Love Affair. When I'm, Down when here, I'm the best out, address to put it. in for your GPS would be 401 North Ruth Street, Hang up the and, and the GPA, GPS will lead you straight to us, which is what we want you to do. And if you aren't able to come, tell somebody to tell, they'll come out and check us out and check the vendors out especially. Yes. Uh, we've got honey, too. We've got honey that I d did not tell you about before. Uh, so come on out and do your best, and please bring your children for the kids' corner. We have gifts and everything for the kids, and so come on out. Let the kids have fun and do what they need to do. We have a band that's going to show up here this evening, too. So come on out and celebrate and dance and be grateful that we're vertical and able to do these things, and we do it in love, all in love, in the name of the – and all in love. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are live on location. Um, I'm a man of many, many, many talents. Uh, we had to go and we did to do about two different things. And uh, only, only use it right here. I'm locked. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the first annual love, uh, the first annual Gulf Coast Community Love Affair. Community meaning everybody is involved, right? That's correct. You're absolutely right. You're not left out. That one is not left out, but you're together. So, ladies and gentlemen, come on out. I think it's a little bit too late to sign up for vendors, but it's not too late for you to participate, right? That is correct. You come on out, show your face. We'd love to meet and greet you. And get here before I have to do the wobble again. I'm going to need a little help, okay? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. She's going to need a little help to do the wobble help. again. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, um, we got, we're going to have some information about housing information. I, yes. I see that was on there. Tell, tell everybody, yes. put it up to you my, up, and up a little bit and tell people about that. Well, uh, for those who wanted to want to be first time uh, homeowners, we have information that we're giving out, uh, here so that you can start the process of trying to become a homeowner. Awesome. And, uh, so we have, um, uh, CDAG that's going to be here, uh, presenting. We have CIL for those who are in need of, of services as it relates to their disability. We have Tracy Boutique. She has a whole store out here. She sure do. And so she you want to come. Problems. Yeah, I think she does. But oh she, she also, outside of Tracy Boutique's, um, we have uh, a sign that says sale. So, you know, everybody loves a good sale. So yeah. we need to come on and check out this sale. We have Dr. Doran Walker. She's promoting her books. And. Uh, she's talking to everyone over there as they come in with a microphone. We have uh, the police force, the fire department, 
And so uh, I was trying to look at and see about Pensacola State Colleges here. Um, there's some vendors I can't see the front of their uh, signs, but we have a good variety of vendors here for information. Uh, and don't forget the food that we have here. Uh, candy apples, cupcakes, fish, hamburger, hot dogs. Yes. Uh, and Reverend Powell is walking around passing out of uh, the push-ups. The push yes. Uh, he's keeping everybody yeah. cool. Yeah, and trying to keep you, us cool. So delicious too. Yeah, it's right. It's a good cool down when you get one of those things and push up the sweet juice in your mouth. So feel free to come. Uh, we have some beautiful dresses that are over here at this vendor. She's got one on a mannequin. I'm going to have to check that one out myself. And yeah, that well, one before fact, I'm go down there now okay. and check her out. Come on, let's go check her out. Uh, don't bring that. Yes. Get sweet. We're going to get sweet over here. Okay, so here we have, and I'll let you talk. Yeah, elevator seats for yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Michael Diggs. This is uh, Diggs Security. I'm a beekeeper out of Molino. I have uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 highs during the season. Okay, thank you, sir. Today we have uh, $20 quarts, $13 pints, okay. right. $7 half pints, and uh, $3 quarter pints. I also sell some plants, but I'm basically out here for beekeeping uh, education. Okay, Edu education? Education. Okay, education is so important. Yes, it now, is. tell us how important education about honey and what can it do for our body well uh honey is a natural substance it's they still is sugar so people always say it's it's better it's better than pure sugar though uh and the processed sugar and uh it's natural it usually has any uh the um microbes that are good for your body okay it is awesome awesome the microbes are good for your bodies and ladies and gentlemen listen I'm going to get me a jar before I leave, and I want you guys to get you a jar because I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show the camera, okay, how rich this is. Look how that buttery color is. Oh, my God. That's a nice, rich, a nice, rich color. And I taste a lot of nutrition in there, right? Definitely. And I have some brochures here about uh, uh Salads and just in, in uh, recipes that you can do to prepare your honey with. And one thing about salads, I'm glad you brought that up. I love to have honey on my salad. Every time I have a tossed salad, chef salad, I always drizzle a uh, honey, uh, drizzle that honey on there. Always. Excellent. There's nothing better. And I got some stuff for the kids as well. Okay. They learn about pollinators and uh, how biodiversity is important with beekeeping. Well, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this is so important because our bees actually help produce and grow food for us, right? Oh, Holiday. Definitely. definitely. You can't have a garden without bees. Can't do it. Well, I tell you, thank you so much, and we are so glad that you're here today. And I'll be back a little bit later and everything. Tell everybody how to get in touch with you. They can find me. I'm uh, at 850-572-7923. Big Zay Perry's, I come out into the community, so there's no one local spot that you can get me, but if you come by, call me, I'll come by and I'll meet you and make a delivery, we make a sale. Okay, great. Can I get a card from you? Sure. I'm collecting as I go. God bless you. Thank you. And we need to get you on WBQP, too. Okay. Okay, because uh, Pensacola needs to know more about this wonderful, natural, organic honey. All right, definitely. I'll give me a call next show. week. I surely will. God thank bless you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, thank you for having me. All right. All righty. Got Troy Jr. on the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, we're with Dr. Steele. Tell us who else we got, Dr. Steele. We have Miss Viola Bright. She's right here. Uh, we're going to see, because I got to check out this pretty dress down here. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is gorgeous. Miss Viola? You on there? Hey, Mr. How you yeah. doing? Get up and talk. Yeah, come on around, son. And put it up oh, to your goodness. mouth and you guys put it about right there. How you doing? Camera style. I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm Troy. 
I'm Fiona. Pleased to meet you. You just as beautiful as you was on TV. Oh, really? <laughs> you want to know what? <laughs> you just as beautiful as you was on TV. God bless you. Well, thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. You got some beautiful attire. Just take a look at what she got mm -hmm. here. And these beautiful headbands. Oh, my God. Look at this. Now, this is called the African Flower Wrap. I, de I designed this because so many ladies said they like the wraps, but it's so difficult to, to tie. It's so difficult this to tie. This is so simple. You can tie it in and, and, five, and less than five minutes. Oh, my God. Even a child could tie it. That's good. I love the matching of the dress. Come on, my <laughs> man. Get, 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 get that. Now, Look how beautiful that is. This is the African market. Oh, let me stand. Mm. This is the African market dress with the skirt and the little bodice around it. You probably remember seeing this style with jacket. This is an African dress style. And the collar can also be worn on the head as an African, um, I'd say, Southern belle. So we are just doing some variety. And these, of course, are for the queens in the house. African crowns. These are for the queens in the house. Yes, the queens in the crowns. house. Beautiful. Oh my God. Yes, the well, queens got to look like queens, you know. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, coming, we're getting ready to eat. Got food on the table here and serve that, earrings. That's okay. But yes, we're going to have some earrings out here later. And thank you so much for the publicity. I always use that. <laughs> you can you come on up here to the Love Affair in Pensacola. We we're on the bill. And what street we is it? We've got to wait till we get the interview. The bill in West. Because we're live. Do you know what street it is? What street is it? This is Belmont and the Villers. Belmont and the Villers. I don't mm -hmm. know why I keep calling it the Ville. It must be That's that okay. Cadillac. Tell them true for you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, and also give them your phone number, Miss Theola. How to get in touch with you? Your website. Oh, the website is theolabright.com. T h e o l a b r i g h t dot com, and um, the phone number is two five one. That's mobile. Three four three eight one three eight. Three four three eight one three eight. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. Uh, we, we, we do we do appreciate it. Uh, let me help you out here. Oh, girlfriend lost her wig. She lost her wig. I tell you that much. Uh, stand around, go around the tent, uh, cameraman, and make sure uh, Troy Junior, you get the wonderful styles here. The beautiful, beautiful. Everything is so beautiful. She really got some beautiful items, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful African attire. I tell you, pastors, teachers, uh, motivational speakers. Look at this right here, Troy. This is just perfect for a pastor. This is just perfect for a motivational speaker. I mean, just beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, this fabric feels so good. It's got a, a silky feel, polyester. Something to keep you cool in the summertime here in Pensacola. Ladies and gentlemen, look over here. Look at this. Oh, my God. Uh, these are wonderful shawls. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Just beautiful shawls. I tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, over here, uh, she has some, some other attire. And uh, also, she has, some, she has something for children. She's not... Tied it up the place a little. That's okay. <laughs> it's beautiful. You got children hey, stuff. Oh, yes. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, my God. That is so cute. Get a picture of that, Troy. Oh, my God. Yes. And lots of children clothing, too. We think about the little shorties as well. Yes, I see. You don't leave anybody out. That's a very we include good everybody, color. men, women, and children. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you so much, and we shall return. Thank you. And next time, I know you're... And I'm well, I'm going to be back so you can start baking. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right.
let's see who we got, Doc. Talk to the people. I'm gonna get you a model. You go ahead and talk about this. Okay. I'm gonna get you. Okay. How you doing? I'm fine. My name is Patience Fenekaya, originally from Nigeria, West Africa. Okay, can you slow it down a little bit and tell them again what your name is? Oh, get it up. Let me up to you. Am I supposed to be looking at you? Yeah, perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Look, look right here. Hello. My name is Patience Fenekaya, originally from Nigeria. I'm an Igbo. I moved down here from Maryland. And I'm fascinated over the people that live here and how much they love family and connected with spirituality i started writing poetry based on the inviting me to poetry i, I hate poetry, writing poetry but when i see how much they love writing about how they feel each day i'm telling you the truth i just mangle with them i just love people here i think they are the best people i've ever met in serious but anyway today for the love affair there, I am showing them Igbo tribe, tribal heart, that they can really actually um, have. And here's my sister right here. That's my wonderful oh, idea. Yeah. Right here, right? She's going to model this, both of us. All right. Okay. okay. Pick anyone that you like. I know they do the different colors. I'll do a purple with this. Oh, you love purple. Oh, right. Get it away. 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 Get it so this is our um so i did the dna testing and i'm 40 percent nigerian all right how about that oh congratulations oh, oh, <laughs> so but anyway i'm selling this today so when you get that we're gonna tie it for you uh, it's really not not expensive but anyway we are going to which one match my outfit this one here and I yeah. noticed that they wear different colors. So yeah. this will be purple and this is green, but they wear the different colors. So um, we are going to model. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on down to all the fat. Thanks for calling Florida. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> My sisters, I tell you, one thing about mm, the African cultures, <laughs> they are beautiful. Oh, they you. promote love. Thank Don't you. Know, yes, they do, yes. Tell us about your organization. Well, you have ministry. But I'm over there. So yes. I'm yes. coming. You yes. are. So, I, you know, with this love affair, I came to feed the spirit on the soul so i came as a published author I, i'm also a, i have a doctorate in divinity and so i have many books and products and services that feed the spirit and the soul and so i'm hoping that you come over so i can show you my two products uh, we have two books that i authored life after loss a journey into wholeness it's on emotional healing and the second one and the crisis that we're going through the pandemic and the war and everything that's going on in the world that book is presenting to you a motto, worship over worry and prayer over panic. So I maximize you. And so maximize you means that God put us here in the earth with a plan and a purpose. And we don't want to live below that area of being maximized. So I'm here to offer those. Hopefully you could come to my table next. But I'm just here to support my sister since my DNA said 40% oh, Nigerian. <laughs> you know, 40% Nigerian. And you from Nigeria. Now I see the resemblance. <laughs> I mean, even I had that before. I would have to do that. I would have to do Which one would you prefer uh, in terms of, of the DNA? Which has the ancestry DNA is the one that I did. Yes. Ancestry? Yes, ancestry DNA. I did that and I actually came up close to 80% African, 40%. Nigerian and then Togo, Benin, and Somali, then there Ghana is in there. I'm born in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and I think that because we were isolated there, we kept our original like, genes. It's amazing. So my whole thing is like 80 percent like African. Oh, yes. awesome! Yes, awesome. <laughs> you inspired me to take the test because I want to know 
and I'm still searching and putting the puzzles together about my ancestry and my history. Oh, no, you don't need to touch anymore. We are all from Africa. Amen. I from originally from Africa, amen. And I have been in poetry, right? Yeah. But when the missionaries came there, you know, because we need to be settled. Yeah. We have life. Everything is going on. We have respect for one another. We have family. You know, so one way or the other, they, t- they took our, our, uh, I will tell you that they took something out of us. They did. But you can take your identity away from us. Yeah. You are no longer in the soul of the God is in every one of us. Yeah. Yeah. He made us in his own life. So we have God in us. Amen. I have studied Buddha. I studied different kind of religion. We yeah. didn't use awesome. power of energy. We need to tell you that God wants you. God wants yeah. you. There's no need telling people God is not in you. Go yeah. found out. Yeah. God is already in you. Yeah. I'm saying that God is not in you. Yeah. So yeah. What you need to do yeah. is to pay attention to that thing inside you, that God in you, telling you to do the right thing. And I realize yeah. that you all the things in yeah. God, like it's Genesis. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I have a, uh, two wonderful ladies here, uh, three, wonderful, three wonderful ladies right here. Y'all stand right here. Uh, we've got three wonderful ladies here. And I want them to share, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what they're doing out here today. And we need them to volunteer and take their time on such a magnificent recording. Anytime you're not working, it's magnificent. Right? How are you doing? Thank you. What's your name? Hey, I'm Carolyn. Good to meet you, Ms. Carolyn. Welcome to WBQP. We had a little connection issue, but uh, we thank God we're connected now. Thank you for having us. I'm Carolyn Chairman, the director of the Corresponding Team. We're playing for you. This is Deborah Brazel and Sarah Roberts. And these are my personal counselors as well. I just want to thank you for having us here today. We have the Mobile Response Team, which is a 24 hour crisis um, program. And we can come and talk to people anytime you're having a hard time. We want to always move towards reducing stigma and preventing any kind of um, uh, mental health crisis. And of course, we always want to reduce suicide. So our number is that we have here, 866-517-7766. We can come to you in the community and talk on the kitchen table, or on a couch, um, on a couch, anywhere. We also have our home, um, heart program. This is a homeless program, so it's a homeless evaluation assessment response team. And our goal is just to come out and provide um, mental health services, whether people have transportation or not. We also um, can connect people to housing and uh, substance use treatment. So we can help pay for medications. We just want to come and see how we connect to, can connect to, to services and what we can do for you. So give us a call, and we'd love to help you out. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Well, we have a young lady that is in the middle. I tell you, uh, I read those classes. Oh, man, they are banging. My name is Deborah Brands. I'm a team leader for Rivers Plants team in Scammy County. Um, Indian services for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Rain us, rain us, shine, snow, whatever it is. Awesome. We have a counselor, answer the phone, anything. We come out to you, you come to us. Telehealth, anything you want, we're here for you. I'm happy to be here. It's a wonderful day today. Come out and see us. Well, I'm here. Cameron's here. Anything you need from us, we're here for you. Mental health services, substance use services, we're here for you. All right. And I am the clinical director for 
um, family care, which does comprehensive behavior assessment. Uh, we also work in the community. I'm also the co-chair or the chair of uh, Lakeview Center's diversity and inclusion team. Um, so we educate not only the um, employees or the team members, but also the community on uh, different cultures and communications and things of that nature. So definitely uh, you're invited um, anytime and welcome anytime to Lakeview Center. Um, for whatever services that you may need. All right. Well, thank you, ladies. I'll tell you, it's been a pleasure, ladies and gentlemen. You might want to stop what you're doing and ride down here for this guy and take advantage of these wonderful services. It's not every day that we see them out in the community. One of the reasons why they're here is to reach you. And you and you and you. And one of the ways is to come on down and introduce yourself and just get the information. Uh, information is the key, right, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, ladies, uh, that's gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we, uh, weather is not too bad, right? Yeah, see us, see us. We're here. And ladies and gentlemen, um, um, I mean, ladies, uh, please tell me um, where they can reach you. Uh, I think it's Lakeview right there. So we are in Lakeview. Our office is on 1302 West Avery Avenue for us. Um, but again, if you call the numbers, we can always help you find us. So just give us a call. And I'll tell you, one thing about Lakeview, ladies and gentlemen, I know lots of people that they have helped. Uh, they have been on one leg and a half swing. That Lakeview has pulled them through. And I'm telling you, it's so many services that you can take advantage of. And one thing about it, uh, the chief of police is over there dancing, so that's all the music. I don't the chief of police is, is, is showing up dancing and, and the cameraman dropping. <laughs> but we're here live, ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen, and we do want you to come out. We're having fun. It's not about, it's not about, uh, you know, being perfect. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Deborah. I'm representing WBQP. You hear me, Deborah? We had a technical difficulty earlier. So we're at the Community of Love. I'm kind of stepping in right now. So I have a young man here. Where's your name? Taylor Lewis. Taylor Lewis. So he's going to tell us about his, um, his, 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 his I've been to see at the uh, event today. Come on out today. So I, I'm here to talk about, uh, uh -huh. I'll say two things. Okay. Number one is this plant that he, she's has, it's uh, the Moringa. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know, do you know what a Moringa is? No, what is that? It's the most nutritional plant in the world. So Moringa has, for example, it has 17 times the calcium of milk, 10 times the vitamin A of carrots, 7 times the vitamin C of oranges, 25 times the iron in spinach, 15 times the potassium of banana, 4 times the protein of yogurt, 4 times the fiber in the oats. Really? So what do you do with them, Marina? So all parts of the moringa, so leaves, be eaten, pretty much for all the plant parts of the plant are usable. You can use the bark to help heal the wound, and you can use the roots for neurological purposes, mm -hmm. and the seed pods can be used to purify water. Okay. So it's, it's meant, it helps mental clarity, antioxidant, anti inflammatory, it helps grow hair growth, vision, skin, it's anti cancer. It helps replenish energy, anti cholesterol. It helps endurance, blood pressure, antidepressant, immune system help, digestion, anti fungal, anti tumor, detoxification, wound healing, and appetite suppressant. Wow. So and the list goes on. It's, it's really long. So you make it to a tea. What do you do with this plant? Like I said, you can eat it fresh off the like tree. I can just bite this off of here. Yes, How big does this plant get right here? It could get past your house. It could, get oh. tall, it could tall, it get taller as uh, it's, it's, it's one story. So I can eat some of this right now. Do I yes, make sure it gets certain? You can eat. It. You can eat it right now. Really? So I can take this, eat it. 
So I can try this right now. Yes, ma'am. What does it taste like? It's like it's, it's green. <laughs> it tastes green. Not too bad. Mm. And, and once you put it in something, it's mild. You don't really taste too much of it. Okay, so where can we find this in the community? So we have it? a garden over on Gregory and Eyes, 1500 Gregory. West Gregory Street. 1500 West Gregory Street. What is the name of your business? Uh, it's the Carver Hummingbird Subtropical Edible Landscaping and Experimental Gardens. You hear that? Did y'all hear that? Again. Say it again. The Carver Hummingbird. Yeah. Carver Hummingbird, subtropical edible landscaping and experimental gardens. Okay, and what else do you have in your garden? So we have a variety of plants, uh, over 150 types of different plants. If you've ever heard of hibiscus? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have two different, two or three different types of hibiscus. We have the hibiscus sabbatariffa, okay. the hibiscus cannabis. Cannabusk, not cannabusk. Okay, cannabusk. Okay. <laughs> cannabusk. Okay. As a matter of fact, people, uh, <laughs> your, your precious police officers have mistaken the cannabis yes. tree as <laughs> it, it, would, it would grow so much that it, it would be growing in the sidewalk. And okay. they'd pull by and they'd be like, what is this? Okay, and they'd but it's cannabusk. B yeah, and S. Can, yes. Okay. Cannabusk. Okay. But uh, yeah, it grows very. They, they, all these plants are grow fast. They, okay. This is very hardy. It's very hard to kill. As a matter of fact, this is one seed. It's just grown two at uh, one time, okay. and then you see it's just twisted up a little bit there. Okay. All right. Okay. And, and the you, second I talk about mm -hmm. is my grandma opened the first contemporary jazz club of New Orleans. Oh. As a matter of fact, it was considered the most important jazz club in history in New Orleans. So, all these. Are letters of support for the jazz clubs uh, preservation society. Okay, and what is what is what is the name of the jazz club? It's Lou and Charles. Okay. Louis Lou and Charlie's Potable Substance Jazz. So here we have a letter from the Hogan Jazz Archive, October 6, two thousand. Lou and Charlie's benefited from an esprit de corps which helped to sustain and mature modern jazz in New Orleans at a crucial stage in its development. It was the lifeline that made the future possible. Sincerely, Bruce Boyd Rayburn, PhD, the curator of Hogan Jazz Archive. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And from here, we got a state of Louisiana, Louisiana official statement from the governor in the name and in, in the name and by the authority of the state of Louisiana, I am J. Mike Foster Jr. together with the, the people of this state, hereby I give special recognition to Lula Low Lewis, an acknowledgement of the establishment of New Orleans' first modern jazz club, Lou and Charlie's Potable Substance Jazz, and for 30 years of historical, social, and economic influence on jazz in the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana. Oh, wow. okay. Signed the governor. Wow, this is so you have anything you want to say with us? Um, no. Okay. Okay. What else do you have on your table here? Oh well, we have shaking beads. We have the talking drum, and I have jewelry over here that I've made. Um, you have jewelry to make? Okay. Yes, so we have cowrie shells and copper, all sorts of things. So. Okay. So everybody, come on out and see us today. We're down here at the celebration of love, the day of giving here. Um, it's a nice day out today. Kind of cloudy, but the sun is holding off today. The cloud, the rain is holding off today. So come out and see us today. You guys come out to. We're down here on the. The villas. The villas. Mind the villas today. I'm feeling in, you guys. Work with me, okay? Um, the mind the villas. Down at the corner. We're here until from nine to nine today, right? I think so. Yeah, nine to nine today. You guys forgive me. Um, and go out to see Mr. Uh. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, address again. Fifteen hundred West Gregory Street. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now we have somebody else we're gonna go see. Okay, so we have some people from Pacific State. <laughs> <No>. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. So we're at the celebration of love. I'm filling in right now. So you got to give your name is Deborah, okay? Yes, ma'am. So what is your I'm name? Amanda. Amanda. Yes, Okay, and you are? I'm Scott Venus. Okay, so what are you guys here for today? What do you? Here you go. 
Uh, so we're here, um, basically we're introducing Pensacola State College to the community with all the available programs, certificates, the vocational skills and trade um, programs we have available out there and introducing the community for those to come out and better educate, um, to retool possibly, and just to gain um, more skills. Okay. So what about you? Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, Alonda and I are both recruiters, and that's our job is to go out into the community and just talk about Pensacola State College and all the great things that we have to offer. So we've been a part of the community for over 74 years, and, and we've changed a lot. And so that's what we're here is to talk about. We have over 100 different programs. We have programs that are you less than a year. You can come to us and get a four-year degree. Um, what people don't know is that there's a lot of scholarships. We have over 350 scholarships through our Pensacola State College Foundation. And that's the reason why over 95% of our students graduate debt-free. So having, you know, debt is a big thing, and so we're proud that we can help support people in their educational journey. So, you know, we're here to support the community and to obviously elevate people with their educational goals. And so we welcome everybody, whether you're traditional or non-traditional, you know, want to change your career. That's what we're here for. So happy to be here. Thank you guys for coming out. Now, I know when I first started at, uh, I started UWF, but I know you guys were two years back in the day, so you guys are four years. Now, has that been, um, um, you guys, like, recall? It, yeah. It, sorry. Yeah, um, it, it has been. So we are known in the community, or we're known as PJC, and so the transition to Pensacola State College, the main thing was that that four-year degree piece is what changed. So we offer four-year degrees in uh, cybersecurity and business-type programs, um, but it, it does help people because people can get their four-year degree at half the cost of other schools and that's a big thing that people don't know is that we are very affordable um, and a great avenue where somebody can actually get a four-year degree with some scholarships for ten thousand um, dollars the total cost but with scholarships you know they can graduate completely debt-free so. okay, now when they start at your school when they transfer after two years they can go to any school in the um and the Florida schools, the Florida State system, how does that work? Yeah, um, that's a great question. So that is one thing that we have is that we have two plus two programs. We have articulation agreements with other institutions. So UWF, um, University of South Alabama, FSU, Panama City. What that means is, is that students can come to us, get their, their two-year degree. It's an AA degree, 60 credit hours. And then with that agreement, the student basically seamlessly transitions to those other schools. So they meet with a transfer coordinator at, um, for example, maybe UWF. And so they're essentially getting their uh, freshman, sophomore year at Pensacola State College, and then they're seamlessly transitioning over there. And, you know, it's a partnership that we have because we don't have graduate degrees. We have four-year degrees, but um, we don't have that wide variety like a larger institution has. So that's the partnership that we have. And it's a great stepping stone because, again, um, we are much more affordable. So. All righty. Thank you guys for coming out today. How long are you guys going to be out here today? We'll be out here till 3 o'clock. Till 3 o'clock. So 3 o'clock, the weather's holding up. WBQP Radio today. Um, you guys come on out. Celebration of first annual. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm filling in today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> First annual Gulf Coast Community Love Affair, okay? You guys pray with me today, okay? I'm just doing this. Thank you, guys. Messed up. That's what people tell me. People tell me all the time. I say, wait. Yeah, I was out there too. At the Lemon Event? Yeah, I was out there. Yeah, people tell me all the time, like, you know. Okay, we're going to do it again. I'm sorry, guys. We're doing it again. <laughs> okay, we got to do this again, okay? Okay. So we're here, so we're here with uh, Renee King of True Touch Collection, okay? I'm filling in, so you guys, um, she's going to tell you about her privacy she right here today. Um, What do you have here? Okay. Today we have uh, Trueness Botanical. It's a hair natural um, system, shampoo, conditioner, and moisturizer, and a leave-in. And it's all plant-based, um, vegan-free products. We also have the Nectar Soul brand, which has our body sugar scrub, our lemon sugar. It's a popular scent. We have it in a lotion and a spray. We also have handcrafted soaps, and we also have um, just a scented lotion. 
Okay, so let me tell you. Okay, this again. Okay, so this is your um your scrub right here, right? Uh -huh. the lemon sugar. Sugar. Yeah, how do I do this? I just take this right uh -huh. here. I just put some on. Just again, and that's the early guys. I'm trying to do this. Do over, okay? You guys listen to me on this, okay? So here we go. For those who saw on Facebook, I think our um other thing went out. Oh, okay. here we go. Let's see. see how this is? So you scrub it on your body? Scrub it on your body. Oh, all my body, right? Yeah. my face? Yeah. Too? Yeah, it's all natural, organic. Okay, yep. you make this at home, right? No, it's at the lab. Oh, at the lab. But you can't, but this is your recipe. Uh-huh, yeah. Recipe. Yeah. Scrub it on my own. Everything 25% off. Uh -huh. Everything marked down 25% off. Look at that. And see that glowing skin yeah, and then that. scrub. Mm -hmm. yeah, the dead skin. Uh-huh, yep, with water. Going. <laughs> it feel good. And then you also have um the body spray, the body spray. Um, lemon okay. sugar, lemon sugar body spray, and I spray it on the front. Yeah. And so it's on the back. Mm -hmm. And that, that matches with the scrub. Okay, the so same thing. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. And then we have a Japanese cherry bottom uh -huh. lotion. Spray. Yep. Okay, this is body, body spray, and then we have it in the lotion as well. And the lotion too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then these are on sale today uh -huh. also. These are bongos, buy one, get one, half off. Sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I didn't say that earlier. Again, I didn't mention this. The, okay. the hair care system? Yes. There you go. Now, this is for what type of hair? That's for any type of hair texture, curly, straight, any okay. um, coarse. You keep the moisture. So you, you come from it mm -hmm. also? Yeah. Okay. I made all of So using your hair? I, mm -hmm. can, I have relaxed yeah. hair. my hair also. Yeah, you're using yours too. It's okay. sulfate free and barber free. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, it comes in a leave-in as well. Just a leave-in. Oh, leave-in. I like mm -hmm. leave-in too. Leave-in conditioner. You guys, I'll be leaving with this stuff today. 25% off. Yeah. And then she also has soaps here. We have the Dead Sea Mud. We have mm -hmm. the oatmeal and spice, black soap, oatmeal, milk, and honey. And we have a, a banana coconut scrub. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. good here. Let's see. So, you guys, come out. How long are you going to be here today, Renee? Um, to 5 o'clock today. 5 o'clock today. And the weather's yeah. holding up. Hi, you guys. <laughs> I'm going in right now. So you guys come out and see her. She'll be the five o'clock today. Thank and you. she's online and your website is mytruetouch.net. Mytruetouch.net. Come see her. Come see her today. She'll be at the five o'clock. 25% off everything. Okay? Thank you, guys. <laughs> My name is Deborah with WPQP Radio. We're at uh, First annual Gulf Coast Community Love Fair. Um, I'm filling in for the cameraman today for the speaker that was here earlier. And your name is? My name is Keila. Okay. And what is the name of your company? Um, oh So Smooth. Oh So Smooth. So tell us about Oh So Smooth, okay? Um, so what we do is, I'm sorry. What we do, um, we provide our own shaving cream. It's all natural, 100% organic. Um, it keeps your body smooth. It has its own natural oils in it to where after you shave, you do not need to add lotion. Um, we also do intimate scrubs. They are to exfoliate your body, as well as um, they prevent ingrown hairs, razor bumps, and they also, what they do is um, provide you a smooth surface for your intimate area after waxing or shaving. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Could be for male or female? Male or female. Okay. And these are here for our females. Okay. So, yes. so Mother's Day is coming up. And Mother's Mother's Day, Day. Yes. <laughs> you guys come and see her. Thank you. Um, how long are you going to be here today? Um, I'll be here until 5 o'clock today. Okay. Do you have a website? Have yes. Um, I have a Facebook and an Instagram. Also. And my website is also smooth at square dot site. Okay. Say it again for me. Again, Facebook, Instagram, also smooth 850. And on um, my own website is also smooth at square dot site. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank you so much for coming in. Like yes, we're here to interview you. Okay. okay. With WPTP Radio. Um, my name is Deborah, and we have who you have here? Yeah, I'm uh, Jeff Elliott from the Jazz Society of Pensacola. Okay. www.jazzpensacola.com. And I'm here to promote uh, jazz recordings and jazz books in the jazz room at our main library. Um, and we have a um, concert coming up at the free concert coming up at the library on May 3rd at 1 o'clock. Um, it usually gets 30 to 50 people, you know, to show up. And uh, we're uh, looking forward to recruiting new people. Um, we're working on.
uh, a chain of, of style uh, coming up so that we, we reach more people. And, um, so we're, we're out here trying to find out what people think about jazz and what mm -hmm. they would like us to um, uh, put in our rooms. We're the same guys that put on the Jazz Fest uh, okay. in um, Seville Square every year, and we just had a, a great Jazz Fest, yeah. you know, so uh, we're very happy. Um, but if you want to get started in jazz, one of these, as I said, is the jazz room at the main library. It's one of only two jazz rooms in the country. Oh, wow. and, and the other one is not in New Orleans. It's somewhere in the state of Washington. Really? So, the state of Washington. The wow. state of Washington. So, uh, um, but 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 we're we're ready and alive. We have a uh, monthly meeting, uh, a monthly jet, um, gumbo at Seville Quarter okay. uh, on the third Monday of of every month. Um, so we're we're looking forward to continuing that tradition. We have. A jazz jam at uh, Gary's Beer Garden on Monday, May fourth. Um, <laughs> good for you, smart, smart. So that's sort of my spiel. That's right. I like that. I like good. that. So it's different genres of jazz, correct? That's what we're looking yeah, for. Yes, yeah, so you, you know, a variety of yeah, jazz. Uh, not, not, not just. Dixieland uh, yeah. all the time. I'm familiar with smooth jazz. Yeah, I'm uh, 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 Sheila Green. Yeah. Uh, out on Barrancas. Smooth. And they're touch her up for that one. Yes. You know, and we like Sheila very much. Yes. But, uh, yes. <laughs> so um, we're, we're, we're looking forward to listening. Although I must admit, we think we might have a Dixieland jazz sing-along jazz jam in the doldrums of january okay you know <laughs> so um, we're, we're we're looking to have uh, a group uh, get up and and play some of our favorite songs of a wide range of songs but ones that we can sing along to okay that sounds good you know okay. and, uh, yeah. like, you must have been a beautiful baby because yeah. you look at you now yes, we yes, love to do that in yes. the Dixie oh, Lands. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for coming out. Um, and you have various CDs right here. Are these on the library also? I uh, know these are these are for sale. These are for sale. For three dollars each. Oh, is it okay? Yeah. You know, so we tried to promote black artists uh, in this batch, but there are tremendously. Um, a tremendous wide variety, as we said, at the library. Okay. Um, so we're looking forward to um, improving jazz in Pensacola. Yes. It's good for our young people also, right? Uh, well, you got to use that art. And, mm -hmm. um, jazz Fest, sometimes it's the uh, student bands, the high school and the college bands, that are better than the performers. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't lose our jazz. Right. Yeah, it's art. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming out. How long are you going to be here today? Uh, well, I'm hoping to be here at least until 6. Oh, okay, he'll be at the 6. He says up until 9 o'clock. Yes. Maybe 6 o'clock. Yes, as long as the rain holds out. So you guys yeah. come out and see us today. Come out and see us today, okay? Come out and see us. That's it. That's it. And make sure I'm in the jazz room. Come out and see Come out guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still alive right here at Truth for You. And I'm telling you, get in your car, come on down. And I would say that she did a, a great job, just a, a, a terrific, a great job. And, and guess what? This is WBQP TV 12.1 True Star. Oh, she's just like, I'm going to let you get another spot to see on my program, okay? You can put my name to you. No. I, I, I.
about the commotion. Of all the commotion, I, I kind of forgot it, so yeah, I apologize. Okay. I'm driving. Please tell me your name again. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. My name is Deborah Braswell. Great to meet I'm you, Miss Braswell. I'm with the Memorial Sponsoring Lincoln Center, okay? But I don't mind helping out anytime. Well, I'm the brightest down with you guys. And she <laughs> moved out in the middle of the park. I'm there for anything, you guys, so just come see me. <laughs> Come see it. I'm telling you, you got some great services at Lakeview. Yes. Now I know that we all been in the house for the pandemic, so you know our minds kind of clouded. But guess what? She got she got some services to help. Come see me. One eight five nine eight one eight six six five one seven 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 six six. Mobile response twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. I'm a long term counselor. If you have any friends, relatives, family members, come see me. I'm a teammate for Scammy County. I'm the supervisor there. And we're here at the table here, and we're 24 hours, seven days a week. Rain, sun, sun, whatever. All those weekends, we're here for you. She's here for you. That's Lakeview. Yes. Yes. Lakeview Center. Amen. And, and y'all located at what address? Almost 13 oh, 2020, 2021 West Lakeview Avenue. Okay. So I'm everywhere in the community. She says she's mobile. I'll come see you. She'll come see you. Oh, you come see me. I'm here for you. Thank y'all. Y'all did such a great job. Thank you for helping us out in the time of a crisis. And who's the camera? What? You did such a good job. Oh, my God. She turned into my instantly cameraman. Yes, yes. After my son got, got the feeling ill, she took over. I mean, she was right there. She did. I gave her the camera. I gave her. Let me take this. Let's do this. And she did. Thank you. You did a great job. I might want to get her phone and number, and she can help us out from time to time. Yes, she's ready. She's a bio med major, especially with her um degree in bio med. Oh, bio med. She's ready to be a doctor. We get med school right now. Awesome, awesome. Yes. So one day you're going to take care of my grandchildren. <laughs> Tell everybody your name. Uh, I'm Gabrielle Long. Okay, what you mean? Uh, I just got I just graduated college last year. I like, South Alabama and uh I my degrees in biomedical sciences. Okay, well great, this. that's the way to go. Thank you. No problem. You are gonna save the world. I got the yeah. brain stepping in apart. That's right. You'll make a great team. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. And we're going to hang tight. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're live. You see all the people out. Everybody's out. And they're having a good time. They're having a good time. Stand by.
We're gonna keep the sounds going. I remember you. I remember you when I was little. <laughs> Where my main friends at? This is for the grown people. Where my grown people at? Where my main? Okay, okay, mom. We know you. Okay, mama. All right, we know mama grown. Okay. Y'all know all mamas are grown, so they they, they don't count. <laughs> See, y'all like this one from May and Frankie Beverly. Y'all can dance on the floor if y'all want to. We gonna keep it funky. We gonna keep it live.
Keep that groove there. Keep that groove there.
How many of y'all remember this group way back in the day? They go by the elements of earth, wind, and fire. Y'all remember? Y'all remember them? Y'all, well, this is kind of young. This is, a, this is a young crowd. Just I don't think they know earth, wind, and fire. You know. You know I, I don't. You may have some people that may know about earth, wind, and fire, but we used to jam this all the time on Saturdays. This song called "Can't Count, Can't High Love." Y'all keep that going. Y'all. 
You know, that was a part of the song. It goes like this, y'all. Y'all say that. Y'all know that, y'all. Thank 
really got started. The first man in smooth jazz, y'all. Mr. Grover Washington Jr. Y'all remember that man? Y'all remember that? Y'all remember him? We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna do a little a magic out here. I'm talking about the magic when I used to go play at the post. <laughs> and at the Elks Club. Now these guys on the stage, they wasn't born when this song came out, so I want them to, to really put it down on this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Check one, two. Y'all having a good time out there? 
Hey y'all, I just want to say that I had the honors of being in the made my debut in Smooth Jazz on the Billboards last year with my single called Something About You. It made it all the way to the top 50 on the charts, got aired all over the country. Matter of fact, I just heard my song in Sacramento, California last night. So I'm coast to coast. I want to play this song for the first time. This is a song that I wrote off of my CD. This song is called Something About You. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I just want to say that it was a, a bunch of playing out here. I want you to put your hands together for the band. And from Great and Little Rock Baptist Church on drums, put your hands together for Royal. Put your, hands, put your hands together on keys. I don't call him by his name. I call him D Money. Put your hands together for D Money. What's up, Jamar? My name is saxophonist Antoine Knight from Pensacola out of the ATL. Now everybody should be clapping for me now. You know, come on now. Thank you. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nobody but my mama clapping. All right. <laughs> hey y'all, this is my time. Thank you for having me here, and uh, I hope y'all have me back. Okay. All right, man. Let's take me home, man. Red, red. just did even better. Congratulations, Mr. Antoine, Antoine Knight. We're so glad that you shared your time and effort with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the first annual Gulf Coast Community Love Affair. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wonderful event. We're broadcasting live on WBQP TV 12.1. Don't forget to run over to Walmart. Don't forget to run over to Best Buy and buy you a HD amplified antenna. And save that $1,400 that you are spending in cable, paying your cable bill. I think the cable bill is running now about $200, $250. And I'm telling you, you can do something else with that money. But if you go and get you an HD amplified antenna, you can pick up WBQP TV 12.1, 12.2, 12.3, 12.4, 12.5, 12.6, 12.7, and my favorite, 12.8. See, let me tell you about the 12.8. 12.8 is for the key. Things that we do every weekend, you even see your church on there, and you will see all of your friends and neighbors 12.8 is for local local event i'm telling you you got to take time to check it out also 12.9 and 12.10 i guarantee you is some program on there that you will fall in love with we got some wonderful 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 shows and i promise you you can save a lot of money. Just go and get you an HD antenna. Now, you can put that on the outside or the inside. And I'm telling you, you can pick us up. Now, for the ones that don't want to do the antenna, 
you can locate us on the Roku box. Yes, just tap in WBQP TV on your Roku box and you will pick us up. And we thank you so much and we cannot wait to continue to serve. And if you have anything that you need done like video, production, uh, any type of uh, DJing work, we also have uh, sound equipment for concerts. Uh, we set up stages. We, we got all type of equipment for rental. Uh, we also uh, do sound, professional sound, professional video, and we do professional live stream. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have an event and you want a broadcast, you might want to call WBQP TV 12. Now my telephone number, of WBQP TV is 850-725-3000. 850-725-3000. Give me a call and we will support you as promptly and as professional as we can. God bless you. Stick around. Stick around. I have Dr. Steele here with me with an announcement. Okay. It's a little after three, and we have CDAG, drug, that's community alcohol and drug behavior and health. And she is ready, Ms. Denise Manassas is ready to do the presentation about drug abuse and drug prevention and answer any of your questions that you may have about vaping and all types of drugs as it relates to abuse and prevention. She is set up in the building number 302 Ruth Street. That's on the corner of Wright and Ruth. And she'll be there presenting for about 30 minutes and answering questions thereafter. Thank you for participating. Yes, please give her a call. And uh, what's her phone number? Because ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, the Community Alcohol and Drug Program, uh, Miss Denise, I tell you, she's at 302 uh, Ruth Street at the corner of uh, uh, Wright Street and Ruth. Now, I want you to know that vaping is dangerous. Yes, vaping is dangerous. Uh, I consider vaping as a drug. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want any help, I know somebody that need help even with alcohol, even with cigarettes. Give her a call. Uh, go down and see her. She's located at the corner of Wright Street and Root Street. And her name is Miss Denise, and she's with the Community Alcohol and Drug Prevention Program. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much. So stick around, stick around, stick around. We ain't going nowhere. We're live right here at Truth For You parking lot. Don't forget about our drip, drop, drip, drop, drop campaign. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a donation bucket here by the WBQP TV 12 sign. Come on up and make a donation. Make a donation and, and uh, we will highly appreciate it so much and we thank you. But ladies and gentlemen, stick around. Stick around. Don't go nowhere. We're having a good time. Sometimes you meet somebody, just blows your mind. Yeah. Has anybody seen my lady? She's good by five foot five. She had a sense of little walking. It's all blues, all blues, Saturday on Choice 106.9 and AM 9-8.
To the head I'm talking about this and have no clue. Now, when I get to a lady, I'm gonna take her to my room, and you know what we gonna do. We gonna In your life, you don't need that. Yeah, you put another stuff, you don't need to. Gotta ask for that change, let me feed you. Anything I give, you can keep set. Just keep me in your head like these wags. You love how the cool wanna meet Jay Paul. I get it done ASAP, one phone call. Talk to two, saying she's a big fan. Who the same nothing as my main man? Who would she want to take her to Candy Land? She wanna lick the rapper, I'm the candy man. I know a place where we can go. Come on. Come on, let's go. If you go with me, I'll satisfy you for sure. That's right, that's right. Just let me take you on your knees, baby. I will fulfill your fantasies, baby. Good man, you can count on me, baby. You can shake and take you to a place where you never seen before. and gentlemen welcome welcome we are still got it going on we're in the middle of the first annual golf ghost i love that Woo. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, Jay Man, the nephew. And I got a brand new dance for y'all. Y'all ready for it? Let's step out. Gentlemen, attention, attention, please. I have United American Insurance Company. They're in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a sensitive topic, but it is a topic that will happen to each, unfortunately, every one of us. But see, the problem is with a lot of us. And, and color ain't got nothing to do with this. It's just taking care of your business properly. I have United American Insurance Company here to speak to you about a product that every single last one of you got to have. You got to have it. So my thing is take advantage of it while you can amen so ladies and gentlemen i have mr john y walker welcome sir how are you today great 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 good to see everybody that's out as we begin to look at this thing united american we came out to actually bless you currently i know that i know there's a hard time as we begin to as we begin to uh, prepare not only for this life but the, as we begin to leave a legacy for our children as we begin to leave a legacy for for those that that feel like i'm if i leave this place my wife my children uh also current benefits now as it relates to cash cancer uh policy first time occurrence integrated cash cancer so forth uh companies now are able to uh, release or distribute cash in increments of ten thousand up to fifty thousand, regardless of of what type of cancer it is. Only exception is melanoma, but other than that, uh, you know we have those type of policies in place and quite affordable. Not only for uh, older people, but also for our youth from from infancy all the way up to eighteen, from eighteen to fifty from 50 going forward and the, the, the thing about it is i know when i look at when i was young you would always look at older people as needing something like this when they leave but currently things happen to all of us 30 you 30 40 50 60 70 years old uh things begin to happen but the good news is that we can insulate ourselves we can ensure ourselves against those type of risks per adventure we leave this earth before uh you know the time that uh longevity right and not only that when we leave we can leave a blessing for those behind behind us not only to pay our bills to pay whatever the cemetery but also leaving a legacy for the next generation so so on behalf of a, of a united american insurance company myself there are multiple things we also have a critical illness a policy we have accidental death type of policies we have term life whole life whatever quite affordable depending on uh, on a, a, a situation your individual situation see me right uh, on this side we have several people that have left their information for us we'll be talking to you as it relates to, to cater it for your particular situation my booth uh, is on this far left here on this side so and, you know, you just leave your information. We'll we'll contact you one way or the other, and we can schedule a time. We kind of 
time to see how we can meet your needs. Again, enjoy yourself. I'm happy to rub elbows to talk to folk and, and have a blessed day and tomorrow in Jesus' name. Bless your name. Thank you so much, John. Uh, this is a, a very, very important topic. Uh, I have the uh, Pensacola Finest uh, attorney, Mr. Fred Gant. Uh, if he could come to the stage, brother, I know he would agree with you. Because one thing about attorney Fred Gant, he has come to his community exactly just like you. Uh, Mr. Fred Gant, tell them how critical it is and what will happen if they don't have insurance. Very important insurance, very important. Guys, uh, you're talking about the book gap, legacy for your family, if you choose a family in a disposition when you pass away, it's all going to pass, it's all going to pass one day, it's God's, God's will. So leave your children something behind. My thing is, leave your children and family something behind when you go. May not be rich, may not be a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer, or may have a business, but a lot of money, but you can have, you can have life insurance. When you go, you pass away, the adult children, young adult children, get them to get started in their, in their future. Get life insurance, okay? $50,000, $100,000, $200,000, get life insurance. Leave your children something for the legacy they can build upon. That's important, really important, okay? So, you know, pass away. Yeah. All right, sir. Just can't pay for your funeral. That's good. Your funeral pay for us right there. That's important. $10,000 would do that, okay? But leave them more than $10,000. It's something to build their life upon and grow and grow well upon. Support your children, your grandchildren. Get life insurance to pass on to them, okay? You can afford that. Then they afford a condo in Portofino or property in Orange Beach. Maybe not, but you can afford life insurance. You can leave them that, okay? So you can do that. Think about it more than one time. Think about it a lot as you, as you get older, okay? It's really important. In terms of your life and so forth, I do trust I'm an attorney in town, as you know. I do trust in probate. And wills, you need to get a will done. You get a will done, it's very important. You get a power of attorney. As you get older, you're gonna need the power of attorney. You're gonna need it, you're gonna need it more, than, more than not. So get that done where you can. Because when you can't, you can't. Results can be really bad for you and your family. So give me a call on Savantes and Roos up the street, Fred Gant, Attorney of Law. Even though I'm website, somewhere in the, in the, in the web. I'll give me a call at 433 3230 every Wednesday at 1 o'clock. The Garney, every Wednesday at 1 o'clock p.m. A free radio show, Bob Hill, 1 o'clock every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Listen in. Free advice about wheels, world bank, power of attorney, guardianship, and divorce, if you will. The free advice on every Wednesday at 1 p.m. The Barney Bob Hill radio show every Wednesday are here for a live radio talk show. Please tune in. Thank you. Yes, please tune in. And also, you can catch him on WBQP. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, his show is running also on WBP, and and we we really uh, want you to tune in every Wednesday at 1 p.m. because I'm telling you, it's informative. The information is so valuable when the time that you don't need it, but it's so valuable because when you do need it, you have everything in order, and it won't be no confusion. Because one thing about it, my brother and my sister loves me. But when mama leaves, I guarantee you, they're going to be reaching and grabbing. So to keep everything civil and keep everybody in love, let's do the right thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with the first annual Gulf Coast Community Love Affair. We have the minister. God bless you. She is an anointed woman of God. My African sister, how are you doing? Praise the Lord, Pentecola. To God be the glory. Amen. 
and give all glory unto the Lord on today. Thank you for having me. I am here representing my company, Maximize You, as a vendor. And as you hear the word maximize, think about it. In God's eyes, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And whenever we are lacking in any area, it takes away who we are. So God wants to maximize our lives for us to live the best life ever. So what is Maximize You? I do so many things. I was one of my clients that you heard um, the attorney there. I'm an accountant, a public administrator, also a doctorate in divinity, licensed ordained minister. But here I have my two published books. The first one, Life After Loss, A Journey Into Wholeness. I was a 23-year-old widow, lost my husband, my sister, and an uncle in a very short moment. Had a lawsuit against me. I was six weeks away from achieving my bachelor's degree, and I lost all those family members. My life crashed. Life after loss. Today we're in a pandemic. I know families that lost so many members, members of their family. This book is about emotional healing. It will take you through the healing process, allow you to define the pain, define that pain. We can't pretend without confrontation. I believe there's no resolution. So we have to become real with what we're feeling, what we're dealing with. Life after loss, a journey into wholeness will be your guide to take you through that healing process. And if you don't mind, I want to read a little excerpt. There's a little excerpt from my chapter three that's called Defining the Pain. And it says, it goes on to say this, expressing our feelings in words helps us to see exactly what we have to deal with in our lives. Hopefully, you have taken this matter very seriously and you will allow yourself to express those feelings. Remember, you're never alone. There is a God who cares and who wants to help. God's desire is for you to come to him as a child admitting that you cannot make it through life on your own. Failure to approach God with honesty will always lead to destruction. For example, I too, I failed to confront my deep-rooted pain, and then it made me fall into sin, and my course in life took on a pattern of self-destruction. You have the opportunity today right now to change the course of your life. Confrontation can be a powerful weapon for you. You can name the pain your enemy and confront it before it becomes a sinful nature. Pain, emotional pain, often masks itself in compulsive forms of behavior. For example, pain may be hidden in compulsive spending habits eating or lying behaviors. These types of behaviors are often overlooked as sin. Therefore, it is imperative that you adequately name your enemies and confront them before they take hold of your life. That's the first book, Life After Loss. I have them available. I'm also doing book signings. That's Life After Loss. The second book is called School of True Worship, an Effectual Fervent Prayer Manual. This is my most recent book. The Lord gave me this motto, worship over worry, prayer over panic. There is a place in God, a safe place where we can find peace. We can find refuge. If any of you know the Bible, Psalm 91 talks about that secret place in the presence of God. And it's not saying that we forget what's going on in society or the world. No, we're just saying we have a place that we can run to. We are mindful of what's going on in the world, but the world's events, they will never change us. And so we have to allow ourselves to find peace and joy in the presence of God. So this second book, School of True Worship, Effect Your Fervent Prayer, I'm also doing book signings on those books. Those are my two authored books. But my, uh, my area where I'm at, the um, tent, I also have a whole lot of cultural books, some Bibles there for you, because my love that I'm sharing is to feed your spirit and to feed your soul. And the only way I know of doing that as a theologian is by sharing the love of God. The word says God is love. Amen? So come on over and visit my little tent. I have a lot going on over there to feed you. Amen? Thank you so much for this opportunity. You're most certainly welcome, oh my God. Thank you for being part of this today. You make it professional and as special as it is. Thank you. God bless you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're still in the push of the first Gulf Coast Community Love Affair. And I'm telling you, today it has been nothing but love. It's been love all in the air. It's been networking in the air. It's been self-sustainability in the air. And one thing about it, we are all growing and prospering together. And I just want to thank God for this wonderful day. We want to thank God for Dr. Tony Steele. Amen. She has, uh, her and her wonderful staff, Change Tomorrow, Today 365, has presented this wonderful affair. And it is still going on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Bounce House. We're live right now, WBQP TV 12.1. Uh, we have games, we have Bounce Houses. We also have an optical course for kids. Uh, we still have vendors here that are offering wonderful products. Like uh, the minister just said, she has books. She has some other things over at her location. And I'm telling you, come, come now and just look around. Um, it's about 3.30 and we're going strong. We're in the middle. We're not going to stop till 7, 8 o'clock tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, I have another vendor. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Going good. Good, good. Thank you, thank you. I'm Tracy. I'm Tracy's Boutique at East King Corner Cafe. We are located at 1400 North Davis Highway, right here in Pensacola, Florida. Um, the boutique, I have ladies' clothing, um, home decor. I cater to all women's, all sizes. So definitely come and check us out. East King Corner Cafe, we have smoked ribs, smoked burgers, and wings. Um, we do food trucks, catering. So definitely look us up on Facebook. We're there under East King Corner Cafe. And Tracy's Boutique is also has a page on Facebook. Now, also, uh, we, on Saturday, on Saturdays, uh, my boss, my boss, Mr. Bernie Watson, oh, yeah. Blues House. That's it, that's it. That's, that's it, right? That's it. That's it. That's exactly. it. Exactly. The Blues House sponsors you guys. That's right. Tell That's us about that. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, they've been very, very good to us. They promote us on Saturday. I would tell anyone this, making that decision to go with them was straight a blessing for East King Corner and Tracy's Boutique. Um, we love them. We love listening to them. We'll be out on the patio at the cafe and just listen to them sent out the love to us and so it's been a great honor to be a part of that team thank you so much now i noticed something last sunday your husband was down in front of the wentworth building that's right um the former wentworth building right now it's called the pensacola museum i believe that's right downtown of uh performing arts or something but it uh you guys was down there cooking up those hamburgers that's right and snowballs snowballs <laughs> smoke ribs and smoke ribs let me tell you now i waited <laughs> i waited i waited and i waited listen ladies and gentlemen for two plates of smoke ribs and we was your last customer but one thing I liked about your husband, I know the police has to, he had to close the street. Right, right, right. That's right. And, uh, but your husband would not shut down oh, until no. he served us. That's right. And, and that made a difference to me. That's right. That's right. That, that's Tommy for you, though. That made me happy. That made my wife, uh, do her little dance back to the car. <laughs> so when I seen that, I know we're going to have a good night. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I said, Mama happy, I know I better I better get on board. <laughs> That's right. We are we're so thankful. That was a that was an amazing event. Uh, we served over four hundred people. It was great. We enjoyed it. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. And I wanna tell you the verdict of the plate. It was delicious. I'm glad. The ribs was cooked all the way through. And we take pride. And I'm telling you, it was tender. You know, I'm an old man with, you know, a few teeth problems. 
<laughs> um, and I'll tell you, as chewing, you know, as you get older, you know, oh, yeah, exactly. you know. so oh, yeah. um, it was so tender. Thank you. We and appreciate moist. That. We appreciate that. We and try. We really do. We try to make sure that everything is perfect. Uh, my husband he loved the idea of smoking meat. And that's just one of the things that he takes so much pride in. We try to make sure that we honor the people and provide them with great food. Okay, well, we sure got to thank y'all because I'm telling you, y'all have turned that corner completely around. Thank you so much. We uh, try. We're still it, working on it, too. And it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank uh, you very it much. put me in the mind of uh, a little area in Miami. That's the plan. You know, Miami, you know what I'm saying? It got that Miami, that Caribbean, that Caribbean yes, feel. Yes, that is the plan. That is the plan. We have so many ideas for that, for that piece of property, and we just want to bring it to the community. So that everyone can come out and enjoy it. Well, we most certainly thank y'all. Are you guys originally from Pensacola? No, my husband is actually from Treeport, Louisiana, and I'm from Thomasville, Alabama. So how did y'all end up? Just a quick synopsis of how did y'all end up in Pensacola? Well, I, my mom moved here many, many moons ago, and my husband, uh, we met when he was in the military. Okay. In the Navy. I should have known. <laughs> it's usually military is in there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's number one. It draws you to Pensacola. That's right. That's and it right. draws you back. That's right. You know, once you go, I think you come here for training and all that and get yourself prepared for whatever versus, you know, the stations and stuff. That's right. And then you did all your traveling. You did your wonderful services. Oh, we uh, love it. We don't want to go anywhere. We was going to move to Houston. And he was like, no, no, this is where I want to be. So. Well, thank y'all for staying. Thank you. Because y'all make this community so perfect in what it is. I appreciate that. Uh, it's so important to get good food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. You yeah, cook right. The service is awesome. That's. I mean, as many people as he had waiting in that line, he still, it seemed like he gave us individual attention. customer That's service right. and attention. That's what we pride. And so we don't pride. go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. And, I got uh, you. I got you. Don't move. Don't yeah, that's what you. he said. I said, how is he going to get me? And Brother Lonnie, <laughs> Brother Lonnie, the pastor, oh he ran back and forth. And I know. That was that was amazing. Long that line. And that. I'm looking back like, the line is pretty long. <laughs> Officer over here saying, you got, got 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes. <laughs> that's right. He said, don't go nowhere. That's right. And I did. And it was well it was worth well it. Okay. I tell you, it's well worth it. The, the food was good. I think I got a side of baked beans and a, a little hit of potato salad. That's right. I just didn't get enough of that potato salad. <laughs> well, if I'm by the cafe, it's there two to three Saturday. I'll from come by. Five. I'll come by. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Once, the, once again, tell them the name of your business on WBQP. It's Tracy's Boutique in East King Corner Cafe, 1400 North Davis Highway. God bless you. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live, live, live right here on WBQP Channel 12.1. I have another business on. How are you? Great. How are you? All right. Tell the world about your business. So I'm actually with the state of Florida. I work at the Florida Department of Health in Tobacco Free, Florida. We are... Um, Funded through the tobacco tobacco settlement, so voters approved us in November of 20, 2006, and in 2007, the Bureau of Tobacco Free Florida was established by popular vote of Florida citizens. So we provide services to both help people who are struggling with tobacco teen addiction. Um, so we provide services to um, help people quit, both phone quit options, web quit options, and we provide um, in-person classes. We also provide um, up to about $200 worth of free nicotine replacement therapy to people oh, who wow. are yep, um, over the course of the year if someone you know is, needs that much to right. quit. And we also work um, with various community organizations um, to create tobacco-free policies. So we work with um, like Area Housing Commission. We've also worked with the school district. Awesome. Um, and you know, continue to work with apartment complexes and um, healthcare organizations to increase tobacco cessation. Well, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Because one thing about smoking, it is dangerous. It sure is. And it could kill, ladies and gentlemen. 
I know when you're smoking, it relaxes you, but it has a bite on the end. Tell us about that. Yeah, it does. Um, so, I mean, nicotine is often described as one of the most addictive substances. Um, it's really hard to quit, and part of that has to do with how easily available it is, but a lot of that has to do with specific, specific tactics that the tobacco industry uses. So they target certain communities. Um, for example, menthol cigarettes are really popular in the African-American community. Of course, of course. Um, and that's a strategy the tobacco company you know, uses to capitalize on. Um, as well as certain flavors. So you'll see like flavors are used to appeal to the kids. Yeah, I see the strawberry and watermelon. Like, come on now. Mm -hmm. And they're they're smart, so they know that if they can get you started, they can usually keep you using their products. That is so true. Now, where are you located? So I am located at the Escambia County Health Department over okay. on Fairfield. Okay. Um, we also do community outreach. So if you have different events or um, uh, we go to a lot of school functions, because one of our big things is we try to prevent okay. students from using tobacco products as well. Awesome, awesome. Now she's located, ladies and gentlemen, right there beside the sheriff department at the uh, health department. Everybody know where that is. That's right there on Fairfield, right there in, I would say, the heart of Pensacola right there. <laughs> uh, tell them your number and how they can get in contact with you. Yeah, so you, the best way to reach me is actually by email. Um, it's my just my name. So my name is Sarah Judd. So S A R A H period J U D D at F L Health Okay, super, super, super. Uh, that is wonderful. Would you like to share anything else? That is it. Thank you for having us today. It's been okay. a great function. It's been a pleasure having you, and thank you for coming. It's such a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. I know you probably had a tons of plans, but I appreciate you. This was my plan. So. Hallelujah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. If you want to stop, ladies and gentlemen, from smoking, she has the answer. She has the therapy. She has what you need to, to quit smoking, to quit vaping. All you have to do is go down to the health department on Fairfield and say, I need help and I need to stop smoking. And she will help. Welcome, my brother. How you doing, thank sir? You, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for talking to me. You're most certainly welcome. Tell our WBQP TV listeners, now WBQP TV 12.1 has been around over 30 years. Tell our listeners about what you have going on. I'm, I'm David Williams. I'm a candidate for District 3 School Board. Okay. Um, I am a retired educator of 35 years. Awesome. I did everything from the time about substitute teaching, teaching math, assistant principal, and principal. So now I'm awesome. retired and want to give back to the community. I feel like I have a lot to offer. I feel like I can make a difference in the community. Well, I want to say thank you because I see that uh, we have new leadership, but I tell you, um, like you said, you have so much to give, mm -hmm. and I, I don't want you to sit up. Okay. I want you to use it. I think our community needs it, and, and it's very valuable at this time. That's right. We're together. The main thing is together we can make a difference, and, and just like what you're doing and how you're getting the word out, and we all do our parts, such as this event today, and we can make a difference in our community, and we can do it for our children and do it for those people in our community and make it better. Awesome, awesome. Well, I tell you what, um, I'm going to give you one of my cards and okay. you, you call my boss, you call me and I'll connect you with my boss, Mr. Bernie Watson. Yeah. Because he takes care of the political aspect. Okay. I sure. And now, uh, especially for state rules. Yeah. For, you know, for dealing with our representatives, you know, running for office. Yes, absolutely. But we want to help. Okay. And we can help. All right. One thing about black media. And tell you know the television station. Uh, we have the ability to spread the word, spread the word. Yeah. and 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 that's what you need most. That's right. And knowledge is power. And knowledge is power. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity. Welcome thank you for all that you do. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to supporting you. I'm looking forward to to seeing you. Okay. Okay. Awesome. In, in the future. All right. Thank you. So thank you so much.
Uh, Reverend Powell, please come to the stage. Reverend Powell, please come to the stage. Reverend Powell, please come to the stage. Reverend Powell, um, if you... Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're live. We have another young lady. How are you doing? I'm doing great, and yourself? Doing great. Come on over and tell the world about your business and what you do. Okay, my name is Benfonsa Wakale, and I'm from Liberia, West Africa, and I sell West African gear. So I have woodcraft, I have authentic leather sandals, and I have a lot of clothes, and then also security and accessories as well, our sandals, also handbags. So I have a lot to choose from, so if you're ever interested, I can be reached at the 5 and then also my um, Facebook page, when I post new products, it is open, it's a um, public chair, so you can see it there. And next weekend, you can catch me at my next event, which will be When Queens Connect, and that will be downtown as well. Okay, and that's called what now, say it again? When Queens Connect. Oh, great, and uh, what's the address where that will be located? Next weekend. That's, that will be on Pace, at the Pace Corner, so that's where that will be. Okay, is that that little flea market right there, or okay, right there, Jackson Street and Pace? Okay, okay, great, great. Uh, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now she she does a very very special uh, crafting, I believe that's what it's classified as, or what? Yeah, just Western wear. So I have clothes. So whenever I travel to Liberia, I bring back clothes from the market. I bring back all kinds of leather sandals, jewelry, handbags, all those items to sell. Okay. Well, and the event next weekend, the specific address is going to be at Pensacola Improv Center, 375 North Pace Boulevard. 375 North Pace Boulevard. Okay, great. That's uh, down with uh, Mr. Bowen. Yes, Mr. Bowen, officer, retired Bob Bowen. Uh, great guy, great guy. Uh, well, great. Uh, i tell you what, uh, make sure that you get one of my cards and connect with me on Facebook. Thank you. And I will continue to share uh, everything that you do. Oh, perfect. It takes it to that 3000 And I will uh, put it on our media outlet and, uh, so we can get you out there, okay? All right, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Now, what's your telephone number again? My phone number is 850-341. Nine two one nine. All right. Thank you so much. Hey, how you doing? Come on, say something. We, we're live. That is Miss Doris from Doris Healthy Hair. Miss Doris, we love Miss Doris around the station. She is part of the team. She is part of the team. Come on around here and say something. We're live on WBQP TV 12.1. Say hello. Hello there, everybody. Hello. Hello, Troy. Hey, hello. Hello. It's good to see you. <laughs> see you. you know, this is really a, a wonderful event here. And, uh, you know, I was a little late because I'm in the salon. But, uh, you know, just to come out here and meet different cultures and different people from all over the world, you know, uh, Africa. Texas, New York, everywhere. So it's this really all deal. And we have so many others out here. So, you know, this is really great, Reverend Powell. And uh, we just want to make sure that everybody support Reverend Powell on the, uh, that, that he's trying to do to uh, raise money for the deal. And I know we, we're going to get that uh, million dollars. Yes, yes, we're going to get and, that million dollars because we want that center built right here. Yes, yes, and this is really, I mean, this is phenomenal just to have this event, this kind of event here yes. today. And uh, I also want to say that I am Doris from Doris Beauty Yes, well, I'm retired. She retired. Oh, I'm yeah. retired. I'm somewhat retired, y'all. <laughs> I'm well, she, she have clients, ladies and gentlemen, that yeah, don't want yeah, anybody yeah. to touch their hair but you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and thank you so much for giving me this time. And, and you all come out and support our candidates, too. And, uh, you you know, and I'm located at 2618 Dr. Martin Luther King 
Right. And that okay. is at the corner of where? Uh, Cross. And, and, you know, it used to be Avenue, but now it's Dr. Martin Christine Drive. You know what? I, 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 I'm going to let you all know that uh, my business number is, is kind of, you know, I, I uh, had someone to uh, cover that that sign, that number out there, because the fact that I'm not taking any more new signs. And I'm going to tell y'all, that's because I'm retiring. Just, I'm almost retired. I'm 17 years old. I'm 73, May the 10th. But I am so grateful for my grandchildren and my children. And what I'm doing now is trying to bring my grandchildren up in the way that I brought my children up so that they would have the foundation too as my children. So uh, this is what I'm doing now. And I'm, I'm in Alabama. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. So I'm in Texas, I'm all over the place. So, so I love what I'm doing and I thank God and to God be glory. Thank you so much and uh, y'all come out. I think it's gonna last until about five o'clock. And they have vendors out here. I mean, they got all, they have uh, all kind of vendors here and they're doing so much. You know, this is what we need to do. We need to unite, come together with love and peace. Everything is just beautiful. Here. God be the glory because He gives us this beautiful wealth. We Thank sure so did. Much. Uh, we time. no, that's okay. We we lost our TV's a lot different than radio. We take our time. Yes. Okay. Uh, now we lost some vendors because they was kind of indecisive about the weather. Oh. They were worried about that forty percent chance of rain, and we ain't even got one percent. Right. So, <laughs> look, 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 look what God did. Look what God did. I mean, so many of them out here. We yeah. have one now just getting ready to talk about her business. Praise I God. Mean, Come on up, sis. Come I on up. Let me give you my mic. Y'all talk. I used to be by. I used to be heard the scripture. You did. Used to be by. I used to be heard Yeah. But my name is Paula Moses. Um, the name of my business is Paula Diva Corner. For my paparazzi jewelry, and I also got another business called Up and Notch Two, where I sell clothing, affordable clothing for plus size and small size women. And then my husband has his business, which is Hemp Say, um, Wheel, Wheel and Wheel, where Kitchen and Grill on Wheels, where he can cater and cook anything from, from island food to barbecue, jerk chicken, you name it. Jerk Yes, ma'am, he makes the best jerk chicken. I gotta go by He's on the corner of Fairfield and Lillian in the parking lot of Costello uh, Gourmet Meats. He does that every Saturday. But since I've been vending, he's been doing this along with me. So our numbers are 850 209 1261, and his is 850 261 7415. And um, I have a boot clothing boutique and jewelry boutique in my home, which is at 502 North 70th Avenue. You can call me, excuse me, for a private uh, meeting. You can come and shop for your clothes, for your jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, I love to accessorize. I love what I do. I've been selling for the last oh, 35 for years. Yes, ma'am. For 35 mm -hmm. years, I've been in the sales business, mm -hmm. and I love it. Jewelry starts from five dollars to twenty-five is the highest. Clothes range from ten dollars up to eighty. And like I said, I can dress anybody. Whether you are a, a lady who likes to dress up in suits for church, or whether you are a casual dresser, I have what you need. I do not do any um, skimpy wear. I do comfortable and affordable wear. Thank God. That's good. Yes. I like that. Well, you know, the Lord says, you know. I'll show them everything you got. You know, so I, I, I'll show you how to adorn yourself beautifully. And you so see, that, that is yes, important. That's, a, that's important, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, we have to teach young culture it is not presentable to show yourself. Let's come on now. Come on. You know, God is not pleased. She does. She really has beautiful dresses. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. This is another obstacle. Yes, ma'am. And I'm also on Facebook uh, Monday through Friday. Live, I sell my jewelry. Uh, I have two pages. You can just uh, ask to be my friend, Paula Best Moses, and uh, I'll accept. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm all about my business. I'm about that grind. So I said, you put, take, 
take the initiative and you go ahead, he's right there for you, you know. So I just thank you all for the opportunity. We're going to be out here until they close. And um, come on out and support what Reverend Powell is doing. You know, we need to support our community, especially when they're doing something for our youth. You know, because our youth, they need a you know, they need something to do to keep them off the street, where they can be safe and where we can train them up to be productive young men and women. You know, Paul, to add with that, you know, I remember when Paul was doing the like, he was doing the lock in, you know, for children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some of those children now, some of them are grown now, and they need to look back and just think about, you know, what Reverend Paul was doing. Parents, you know, I mean, we've all been, you know, kind of upset with Reverend Powell. When, when I first moved here, I mean, my children also was a, yeah. going to lock in. Okay. We were doing report cards, and we got a good report card. You know, we were weighing so many things, you know, at the same time. And I was in that, you know, and, and I, I'll tell you, I'll reach out to Reverend Powell, and I love Reverend Powell and his family because he's doing so much for the children. And so this is what we need to, you know, remember uh, the children that has gone and moved different places that been in this, uh, you know, doing this lock-in that he had, you know, for the children uh, back then. You know, they, they've gotten grown now, but they need to think about it and look back and see, you know, he's all on Facebook, Reverend Powell, and, you know, we're asking for the donation for to get this building done, and we can do it. We can yeah. do it. And like he, all he asked me for is you can get a five dollars, a dollar, whatever. You know that money adds up. So that's what we need to do is help Reverend Paul. And you know what? I'm, I'm, since I'm on the air, I'm going to say this. You know we have so many roofers in, in the Pensacola. Yeah. And I just pray. I don't understand why they and why they won't say Reverend Paul. We're gonna come in and help you with this roof. We're gonna do some work. We need to help Reverend Powell save this building, y'all, because, I mean, we, we know that Reverend Powell has been there and done this for us and our children, my children, you know, and now my children, they, they have all them nurses and, and, and lawyers and, you know, entrepreneurs, all of them, three of them, they look back, they work, they spend Reverend Powell money, too, you right. know, yeah. and that's, you know, because they've been there, you know, they've been with the lock-in back in 88, yeah. I'm serious, yeah. I saw that's when I moved, center. yeah, at the convention center, so we need to get these roofs, y'all, please, just, oh, just come out in, in, in unity, God say, we got to be in unity, yeah. book yeah. says in, in Psalms 33, we God what loves us. He wants us to be in unity with each other, to work with each other, do things for each other. So I'm just asking all of the roofers out there that here's my voice. Please come out and say, you know, it's four, four or five roofers say, hey, Reverend Paul, we got it for you. We're going to come out here and do this. And just watch and see you have good measures, press down, shaking the gallery, and run it over. Yeah. You know, good. If you, if you don't have it now, you will have it when you do things the right way what God wants us to do. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just come together. Now, we have the donation barrel right here by the WBQP sign. Drip, drop, drop, drip. Ladies and gentlemen, come by and support. Drop a check off. Uh, uh, either just walk up to Red Powell and put something in his hand. Uh, it is so important to bless people that has been laboring. Like Mr. Williams, Team Williams said, he's been laboring in the community, teaching, substitute teaching for years. And God has gave him a vision to go higher. And that's what we need. Don't sit back after you retire and, and be in the rocking chair, but continue to serve the community. Praise God. So that's what it's about. So ladies and gentlemen, it just makes my heart burn and, and so happy to know that we're not sitting down in Pensacola. Come on up, Ms. Doris. Oh, I'm trying to hear that me to like, sit down, retire in the rocking chair. I'm not in the library to get in a rocking chair. <laughs> I'm 
ain't gonna get a no rocking chair, honey. I love what I'm doing in this community. <laughs> and, you know, I really come like Pensacola now. I used yeah. to just like Pensacola, but I really like it. I'm, I love know, it. But the reason I like it because I'm so involved. So you know, involved. When you start getting involved with the community, that's it. So I say, oh, I like Pensacola. I'm going to stay right here in Pensacola. That's it. That's it. I have it. so many beautiful friends and family. Like God say, all is my family. Everybody is my family. Everybody. I love you all. And y'all come on out. Those who are listening to my voice now, we still here. The vendors are still here. Yes. We have beautiful clothes. African clothes, Jerry. Yes. And Renee, she has uh, soap and all kind of different shampoos and I mean, it's just made, you know, yeah. natural. Yeah, all and, natural and, and, and it's made directly for our hair. Yeah. It's then, made for our skin. Right, and then I got a guy, uh, got some honey, and I, I bought some honey from him. He, he makes the honey, the honeybees. Hallelujah. It's pure natural honey. So y'all come on out and get you some, you know, the clothes. They have all kind of vendors out here. And, you know, I, and, and it's really not too hot if you want to get you a hat and put on your head. Yes. Well, I got my straw I hat. Like uh, I got my see my straw hat sitting right there. I see it. I and I'm like tempted to put my straw hat on. I know, but you know I'll what? go back to Alabama on you quick. But guess what part the sun is good for you? <laughs> it is. Vitamin D is good you know, for you. My doctor say if you get a lot of vitamin D, then then your mind won't yeah, be clouded. Absolutely, your mind. And I said, I said, Doc, what, what? Are you serious? He said, Vitamin D got everything to do with keeping you kind of seen. Right. She said, it has it something strong. to do with that. Oh yeah, that's sunshine vitamin. Yes, vitamin natural, from natural from the Lord. Natural from God. Okay, to God be the glory. Y'all come on out and enjoy this, and and we having a little breeze now. To yes, God be the glory is this. Wendy, a little Ooh, bit. It feels good. Does it feel good? I'll say he'll do anything that we ask. He say, ask, and we shall. I tell you, and today I tested it out. I, I tested, I tested him out, Miss Doris, because Troy Jr. was out. He was working so hard. Yeah. He was following me with this camera. And all of a sudden, he got too hot and fell and fell out. But now look, it breathes, and, and then it breathes, breathes, and then like and, and then my uh, wife just called me. She said. She, with some good news. She said he was at Sacred Heart right now, resting good. The doctor ran all the tests he could ran and x ray and couldn't find that. Hey, to God be the Ooh, to God, God be the glory. Thank you, God. We all be praying for everybody. We're and proud. he's doing strong. We all do. God and we thank Lord. God. And y'all come on out, though. I'm sorry about out. the roof, you know. Uh, those roofers out there. Rem and, Powell, uh, please come, come out there, Rem Powell. Get a lot of people. That, that, even I get up there and help. Reverend Powell. Reverend Powell. Reverend John Powell. Okay, thank you so Please much. Please come. We, we we want you to interview right quick on WBQP while we live and tell the people how important it is for drip, drop, drip, drip, drop campaign. So I, 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 I haven't retired. I'm semi-retired. I don't even know what retired means. I often but say. I say we, somewhat retired. That's yes. the word. But I, I still love what I'm doing. Well, I'm, I'm still thank working. You. I'm still, I yeah, am still because working. you're very involved yeah, yeah, so in the community. I, I have to in Alabama, St. Louis. I'm involved. Y'all don't know. I'm, 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 I go. God goes with me. I'm, I'm on a mission. I'll be on a mission for the Lord. Thank you. Love you. Love you, Reverend. Miss Dars, don't let no grass grow in her feet. Okay. Now, now where I got to be? I'm ready. Yeah. Hey, Pensacola, how you doing, Pensacola? All right. All right. We on WBQB, my favorite station, TV yeah. 12. All right. All right. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Vernon Watson out there. How about that? Mr. Hey. Robert hey. Hill at WBO. Hey. Oh, how about WRNE 980? All right. Choice 106.9 on that FM now. Right. Mr. Hill oh, in the morning. Oh, all right. All right. Oh. We are having a good time. But this is a day is Saturday, right? Yeah. It, it, it ain't Sunday, it's Saturday. Last Saturday in the morning. Last Saturday I was trying to tell the blues hound and the blues man this morning that I, they got to get this stuff together, okay? Yeah. And stop going over there to Alabama every week, you know. Uh -oh. Burnt Hall, <laughs> Burnt Hall, Alabama, Evergreen, Hulk Hall, all right. And uh, they don't, they don't never go by my way, Snow Hill, okay? Yeah. And I was looking at, I was looking at Mr. Oh, Williams, you know, yeah. you know, you know, school boy. I was looking at him the other day, you know. I remember when he was a, a young man, you know, you know, he still, you know, he still had baby food on his breath back in those days, you know. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was coaching and everything. Oh, yeah. He came with me at the 99 Boys Ranch. Okay. And yeah, I was just telling them ladies about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I changed his life. He decided, I'm going to teach school. <laughs> All I got to do about the boys, man. You said I'm gonna teach school, everybody. <laughs> oh yes, it is. He's been fantastic. But I was born in Pensacola High School. I had to take some young people off uh, to the prom, and uh, you know, every year we try to take a boy or a girl, two or three, get them all squared away, truth for you. And, and some of them were writing little essays, and they was the members of. They were attending Booker T. They was attending a, a Pensacola High School, and he was there, and he uh, helped me find. Those young people, I had one young man, went, when uh, Pensacola High School went to state in, in football, and I went there and I got, I got my football signed and everything, okay. Oh, yeah, so it's just good to know good people. And I'm so glad that uh, Pensacola came out in, in so many great numbers today. And, uh, oh, my man, my brother Knight, and I tried to play in my building when it was an old building, but he's going to play in the building when it's a new building here pretty soon. And, and anybody, play, anybody play that good, hey, I ain't got nothing to say. You got the CD? Oh, yeah. So, and, oh, you got to make me a CD. I, 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 can't, be, I can't be advertised. Uh, how, much, how much CD is How much CD is uh, well, he left one, but uh, you left one. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can, uh, you know, uh, give, give him a little money on the side. Give him a little, I'm gonna give him five dollars on the side. Cause, you know, where I come from, everything costs five dollars. You know, because it costs more than five dollars. You know, so I no, okay. You know, so uh, uh, but uh, he came out. He did. And the band showed out. You know, and good music. I mean, good music. And he is so talented, brother. He has some notes that I can't even say. Oh my my! And he just took his time. He wasn't in any hurry. No hurry. He played like there was 50,000 people here and that he was in New Orleans, Louisiana, and he was in a big concert, and we got a chance to see that Mr. Fred Garrett just kind of leaned back, you know, and, and, uh, and kind of waved his hand. I said, oh, look at I said, I said he think he in New Orleans now. You know, uh, you know uh, what they be doing in July. What that thing they do in July? July. Uh, uh, in July. What that thing they do in June, July? They ain't did it in about three or four years now. The essence of one. I know you know that. I know you know he'd have been there. You know, he'd be, there, you know, he'd be up in there with my man, you know, Charlie. Charlie Wilson be singing, you know. And I was the brother. And I was the brother, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I am so glad to be here with y'all today. You know, tomorrow is Sunday, the first day of the month. Uh, May, we used to have May Day, but you don't know nobody. You're too young for that no, May Day stuff, still, you know. I still have and I want to, I, I want to bring my mo, uh, my May pole out here. They, they don't know what May pole is. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get with some of my people. Over. Oh, he, he, he done stood up. He done stood up. Like, like, he must have stuck a nerve in me. I, I think I stuck on them Vernon Watson nerves in me. That's right. And we're looking for a bulb. All the right. Oh, uh, he's saying about it at night when you're looking for one with them lighting bulbs. Put them lighting bulbs in a glass, you know. And, uh -huh. So you don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that kind of living, you know. A lighting bulb. But we, but we used to do a maypole, plant the maypole. And we was in school, we dressed all up. But I'm, you know, on, on, in school, it was a big thing. And we kind of lost all our history, all of our heritage. We kind of lost it. And, and, and now we, we're trying to get Juneteenth together because they made it a federal holiday oh, now. You know, but, 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 remember, but remember that Juneteenth is really Texas. Uh, Florida is really May the 20th, okay? May the 20th is, is, uh, is our day. Emancipation Proclamation is our day, May the 20th. We're going to try to do something on May the 20th here in, in Pensacola. And then we still want to do June, Juneteenth. But uh, but uh, and it's great because that's a holiday. You know, that's a holiday, and you get and your federal people get off. So we want to we want to do something. I'm I'm gonna try to leave with some fantastic people on next week and, and see if we can get something together because all whatever we can do in at 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 the principal at a uh, truth for you, we call it the Belmont Culture Center. But whatever we can do here in this park, and I, we want to get it done. This is a historical district. Uh, and a lot of folks may, folk may not know that, but it's a historical district for Belmont, Belmont and Villa. And, uh, and, and, and it goes way back, way back to the Jim Crow days. And, and when, when, when we had to, we had to be down here with, with, with our Jones Pharmacy and with our uh, 506 and with our Bunny Club, and with our Savoy Club, and with our, with our Blue Dot down here. Gussie Record Shop, WBOP, 
was down here and we had the dwarf yeah. chicken plays yeah. on the oh, right next yeah. to the uh, right yeah. there next to them there. So yeah. so you know you know my God. Oh, 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 oh yeah. So I asked somebody trying to help me out. I had to get let her know. Okay. You know, you know, you know, I, you know I, I don't play the radio. Okay. I don't play the radio. You know, but but I'm so glad that we have so many young people that have gotten involved with me and coming by there tapping on the building. Say, I want to be a part of this Reverend Powell. And here's my twenty five, here's my thirty two dollars, here's my fifty dollars, here's my hundred dollars, here's my thousand dollars. You know, I had them they calling me and said, Hey Reverend Powell, I got a thousand dollars for you. I got fifteen hundred dollars for you, I got seventeen hundred dollars for you. Where are we right now, Reverend Powell? I said, Well, we're over a hundred thousand dollars, brother, and we're moving, but I believe within the next two or three months, we're gonna have what we need to have. We're gonna be able to say yeah. we paid this building off oh, and, and, and we wanna be able oh. uh, to, to be able to keep on going so we can say we put the roof on it now. We got the event center going, we, we, and we got the auditorium going. So when we get ready to have something end of this year, we'll be able to say, "No, I ain't going there. I ain't going there. I ain't going there. I'm going to the Belmont Culture Center, where I'm gonna walk away with 65, 70 percent of my money, not leaving 80 percent of my money there. I'm gonna walk away with it, and it's gonna be done in a place that I am supporting. That I'm paying the help." That's and it's going to help you back. It. So when you give, it ain't like that they going around. We have to be able to say that we play the part. It ain't John Powell. You know, the vision is not mine. The vision is all of us. It don't, probably don't discriminate. It don't matter whether you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian. It don't matter when you broke. You're just broke, okay? So, and when, when, when broke people get together, we can have some. I'm thankful for the fire department that been here. Yeah. Oh, oh, my good fire man, he been down cooking and everything, okay? And, and the city police department been showing up. They ain't burn up no burgers today. I told them to burn up a few hot dogs, you know, cause you know, I like a burn up hot dog, you know. And they, they've been cooking and cooking and the fireman, not only did he watch the fire, he started cooking in the fire. And we just, uh, we served hot dog after hot dog, hamburger after hamburger. And the fire department brought the truck down to it and got a chance to visit the truck. So there are things that you might have missed. Now, if you don't go to WBQP, TV 12 and such and find out, Oh, well, when is that going to end? When is that going to end so I can see who all was there? So I can say I celebrated in some of the vendors that came out and, and really got involved and really sold their product and really showed us the things that they have. We need to know where to shop at. We shopping everywhere, but what we all are shopping. So not money is shelf. I'm trying to show you where to shop at with your shelf money, okay? So, 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 so come on out and, and, and see if you, if you visit WRE, if you visit WBQP. Uh, Believe me, that's a talking station. W B W R N E. I I ain't telling you that. Hey, to play, I ain't trying to play no magic on you. Okay, I'm trying to tell you to make a choice. Okay, so when you have a choice, 106.9. Oh, oh, there it is, Rambo. Okay, I made a choice to get involved in this thing. Okay, I ain't doing no whoops and doops after that to do that for you. I'm saying, hey, you made a choice to come over here, and now you gonna get some good information. And information is power. If you, oh, you don't believe me, listen on, on Monday mornings and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays at the thought information from the sheriff and everybody else is getting on that stage. Even the chief of police was out here doing the two-step, okay? So so I, I saw him, I said, hey, hey, keep up there, bro. Keep up, keep up. And he, he went on and he was smiling and getting engaging. And that's what we ought to be some proud people right now. You know, we got a lot of positive things going on. And we want to make sure. And I want to say one other thing on there while I'm talking. I want to make sure that I speak all to all the young people out there over at Lexington Terrace. You know, getting over, you know, and, you know, and, and have an activity over there in the last two or three or four days. They've been blowing it up. And the sheriff's department, everybody trying to work with everybody. So we want to make sure that and we had a good, a good young man that came in and, and we had people that really want to know what the right thing to do. But remember one thing, you can't be over there now cussing and raising sand and playing F this and be that. Okay. And, and one person playing good news, the other person playing what they want to play. We got to learn how to work together because one person going to be blamed. I don't care how much we spread it out. And say, well, it's five of us doing it. No, they're gonna pick one person out. They're gonna say, that's the person that organized it. No, no, you can you can pick it back on what I'm doing. I pick it back on what he's doing. But somebody had to have a power enough to stand up and speak truth to power and say, we did it. And so when when that person says something on next Sunday uh, out there or uh, uh, tomorrow, when they say something to him tomorrow, they ought to be able to say, well, he said, why the down little bit, brothers and sisters? Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. And we ought to be able to listen to what that brother has to say. Okay? 
because, hey, he looked like us. Image breeds inspiration. So if he's telling you not to do it, then don't do it because then the officers are going to do what they're supposed to do. And what they're saying is if, if you're parking on the curves and you're doing things that you ought not to be doing and you're parking over there on the side of the street and you know you should be parking on the side of the street, you're blocking traffic, people trying to get into their park. And that's their park like it's your park. But when you got four, five, six, seven, eight hundred people are better there, you got to make sure that somebody has enough vo voice to say, hey, shh, don't do that. Calm down. And, and, and the good thing about it, them brothers been cleaning up after themselves when they get through. They clean it up. They, 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 they've, been, they've been doing the best they can to, to try to, to tone things down. But you still got to remember that there are other people living just beyond where you are. It's okay. Freedom is only freedom as long as it does not infringe upon the rights of others. Did you hear me? Freedom is only freedom as long as it does not infringe upon the rights of others. So if your freedom starts to mess with my freedom, we got a problem with that. Okay, but as long as you're doing your thing and you're in your car and you're booming, hey, that's your business. But when you let your, let your windows down, then it's no longer your music to you. You share it with somebody else, and they may not want to hear. But he said, well, they may, not, they may not like what I'm playing. Well, they probably don't like what you're playing. Well, then if you wind your windows up, they don't have to Thank like you, what you're playing. Thank okay? You, if you pull up to the gas station, and and you open your door and all that stuff coming out your your your, your door and the person the pump the gas they don't want to hear all that then what you do you close your door or you turn your mute in respect of other people's freedom and remember one thing children are watching you That's children are, are adults in process so when they see you cussing and acting up and you go put it on facebook showing them out they're cussing and thinking that's a joke that ain't no joke Cause we all know a child can't go to school and curse. Cause they go to school and curse, they're gonna send them back home. Oh. Okay, that ain't no joke. When your child's misbehaving, when they don't mind you, what make you think they're gonna mind somebody else? When you say sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, ten times before they sit down, you got a problem with that. Your first sit down should have been to sit down. That's it. Why? Because they know that if you don't sit down, their daddy gonna come over and mama gonna do some junk to me. They're gonna embarrass me. Okay. So, so if, if you've been tightening up on that left, on that left bottom. At home, when they get out of the street, they won't, they won't be doing stuff. They you can say, whoops, I, I don't believe my child did that. You know your child did it because they've been doing it around you. And they'll tell people, you, they don't need you calling my mama, my daddy, they ain't going to believe you. What child tells you that I don't believe my mama and daddy going to believe you? And it's to a teacher, okay? And it's to somebody else. Uh, but, and, but when I was coming up, they said that there, oh, oh Miss Nate on the corner called your mama, okay? And no matter what, you, you know not to tell your mama, Miss So-and-so was not telling the truth. Because she'll look at you like, I know you didn't just tell me Miss Lucy said that you were, that she's lying. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no way, buddy. My mama would take you out those where Miss Lucy could see her putting some stuff on you, buddy. Okay? Oh, oh, oh. You, you see dust coming from where dust didn't come from. Okay? Oh, okay? But, 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 but now they just, well, you know, I can't spank him. I can't do nothing to him. Corporal punishment said, to, I'm doing Bible said it. Corporal punishment within itself. Corporal punishment within itself is not a crime. Pop that little hand and said, don't do that. It's not a crime. And when you get there and you hit your child and you and you mad and you're angry about something, you ain't got no business putting your hand on them. That's right. Okay, but when they but when they misbehave and you said don't turn that dial on that on that television and you smack that hand, okay? And they look at you like I, I can't believe you just hit me. Oh yes. yes. Oh, yeah. And they're gonna do it again because children are like that. You smack the hand the first time, they're gonna come back up two or three days later and they're gonna look at you and they're gonna go to smack it again. And then when you raise your hand back, they was like, because <laughs> they said to themselves, then I don't want him to do what he did to me before because I didn't like the way that felt. Okay, so we got to take a moment here and look at it so we can start to raise our children and stop from getting mad when somebody else tried to raise your children because you didn't do a good job of it. You were too busy popping and hopping and having a good time when you're the one that decided that you want to have a child. You're the one that decided that you want to get out there and, and, and feeling good and popping and jumping like it's hot. Then all of a sudden you got a baby here. Uh, and, and wait a minute, wait a minute. Now they're here, and once they come, I tell all the young ladies, my God, you got to realize one thing when you're growing up. You're, you're a child, you're, you're, you're adolescent, and once you have a baby at 12, 13, 15, 16 years old, you're no longer that little innocent little child. You got somebody that's looking for you to show them love, okay? You become a mother, okay? You become a mother. And believe me, whether mama and grandmama's taking care for you or not, you still are a mother, okay? 
And when mama was telling you to, hey, don't shake, don't let that little knucklehead joker trace you. Don't let that little uh, joker run you and tell me how pretty you look and how you look because all you have is innocence. And your innocence is what they want, okay? That's the most valuable thing that you have is your innocence, boy or girl. That's your innocence. Once you lose it, hey, they're going to go out and tell the whole world what you did, okay? Right. And a secret is only a secret when? Uh-oh. What is a secret, not a secret? And when someone other than you knows about it, okay? As long as you know it by yourself, it's a secret. But the moment you realize my best friend got a best friend, and it ain't me. <laughs> my mama, what did you just say that? I said, my best friend got a best friend, and it ain't me. Now, somebody probably always didn't cut it off, so I don't want to hear that. that uh, I don't want to hear that. That was what my mama used to tell me, what my grandmama used to tell me. Uh, I'm living a new time now. I, I'm, I'm going to let my child think for himself or herself. I'm going to let them do what they want. Just you keep on letting them do what they want to do. Because we realize in life, somebody's always going to be telling you what to do. They're going to tell you how fast you're going. They're going to tell you when to eat. They're going to tell you how much it costs. They're going to tell you this and that because they're always somebody positioning themselves to be able to give you instructions. So if you don't think you'll get instructions, you better stop living because somebody's going to always have a, get a position where they can tell you what to do and what not to do. So if you don't believe here, nothing else Reverend Powell says, I love Pensacola. I love Pensacola. Yes, I love, I love all of, all of y'all. I thank you so much. I hope I always do you proud in what I'm trying to do. Believe me, I hope I always do you proud in what I'm, I hope I never embarrass anybody out there in what I'm trying to do, because I believe. But one thing I want you to realize for me, I'm not trapped in the skin I'm in. You know, I love everybody, amen. But, I, but, but the Bible says charity starts at home, then it spreads the ball. You got to first look in the mirror at yourself and say, mm, you look good today. And when you encourage yourself, you ain't got to run around here waiting on somebody to encourage you and make you feel good and tell you they love you and they like you. It don't matter no more because I like me, okay? And I'm going to take care of me. And when you like me, that means you want to keep your mama and your grandmama happy. You're not going to do stuff in school that's going to embarrass her. You're not going to make the teacher in school call it because you showed out in school and you got suspended, whatever, and you think that was cute. And your mama trying to work and she can't work for coming up to school to check on you, okay? That ain't what people do when they love somebody, okay? So maybe you might not have heard it nowhere else. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm the only somebody that's uh, talking to the wall, but I know there's somebody out there that hear what I'm saying. And they know they say, hmm, okay. sound like that reverend is telling the truth. And it ain't the fact that I'm a reverend. I'm just like you or anybody else. We're just trying to make it. And we want to do what we can do to show people that we love ourselves and we love everybody else. So believe me, respect is earned. It is not given, okay? If you want somebody to respect you, show respect. I say yes, sir. You say yes, sir, back to me. No, and if I and if I can't say yes, sir, back to you, then you ain't gotta say yes, sir, to me. I say it to little children. Yes, sir. They look at me. Why are you say that, little boy? Because I respect you. Because I want you to say yes, sir, and yes, ma'am, and yeah. run back to me, and give it back. So when you go to look to somebody, they say, mm, that young man, that young lady, and sure have some manners. Okay, manners and morals are what we're looking for today. They see they've been, been thrown out the window. We reach out the window and grab them. They went there. Grab them the Mars and pull them back in. Should not steal. That should not kill. That's not bad false witness. That, you, know, you know, I'm supposed to love my neighbor as myself. Those things, pull them back in the window and stop letting folks teach you how to hate somebody. Fall in love with everybody. Song said, What the world needs now is love. 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 Mr. DJ, I know you didn't have me on here. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I got on here. The world needs love. Uh, I, I hope you I hope you ain't got me live streaming. I oh, hope you ain't got me live. Oh my my! But you know what? You got to worry about because I ain't on Facebook. Okay, <laughs> two for you was on Facebook, but you ain't got to worry about telling me some stuff like uh, uh you got to do about me doing no wokeness. Uh, 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 I got to apologize because here uh, I just thank God for you. I thank God you listen to my broadcast on WRNE. Choice 106.9 on Sunday mornings at 945. And look for me on WBQP TV 12 on Sunday evening at 6 and uh, six o'clock to 7 o'clock. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to speak to you. And thank you. If you want to give the truth for you, go to my website, truthforyou.org. That's truth for F O R, truth for you dot O R G. And you go there and you go to PayPal. And then you go to Cash App. Cash App is going to be that dollar sign T. F-Y, 
1993. We got started in 1993. We'll be 20, we'll be 30 years here next month, next January. Or you go to Venmo. Now them young folks got me doing all this Venmo cash app stuff. They said, we're empower you. We can get the hook up here. And so they've been hooking me up and my phone been beeping and bumping and beeping. And they've been saying, this money been jumping in there. I said, I said, folks can just do what they want to do with their money. Hallelujah. So I just can't thank you. And if my phone ringing off the hook, maybe then somebody said, get off the air, Reverend Pop. Okay, but thank you again. Thank you again, Pensacola, for coming out and sharing with my good friend, uh, uh, my good friend, uh, Pastor, uh, for coming out and, and doing what the Lord laid on his heart to do, the love, love festival for all of us to come out and show some love. So Mr. Jesse Turner, Pastor Jesse Turner, Reverend Jesse Turner, my Lord. And Dr. Tony Steele. Oh, see, now that's that, 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 that's an awesome lady. Dr. Tony, I wish I could get a doctor in front of my name, you know. You know. <laughs> that means you, you got to do something. You got to do something. something. I keep telling, I can do profound stuff, but I'm going to have to let that go. But I got one thing I'm going to leave with you before I go. Uh, when you spell free, free is spelled F-R-E-E. -E. And when you take the R out of free, what do you got? Free. You got free. So look how close that related. Free or fee, okay? So freedom comes at a fee. It costs something to be free, okay? It ain't free because they say everything that people say free really ain't free, okay? There's consequences or you're going to end up owing somebody something because they gave you something. Somebody give you something, look out, you're going to have to pay back something in the long run. So so earn what you get. Earn it. Take a moment when they try to give it to you. Say, wait a minute. Before you give it to me, what can I do to earn it? That way, when you earn it, you ain't got to worry about looking over your shoulder and paying it back. So when you accept it and say, thank you very much, thank you very much. Remember, they're going to come back later on down the road. They can say, remember when I gave you this? Or they're going to say something like, you wouldn't have it if I had never done it for you. And then you're going to look like, oh, man, where did that come from? Well, they gave it to you so they can brag about them giving it to you. Okay, so let God give it to you. Let God give it to you. Thank you, sir. And you have a great day. Pensacola, we love you. We out of here. Oh, yeah, we live, ladies and gentlemen, right here on your own um, WBBQ TV. WBQ TV. Yes, channel 12.1. And we have a good time. We're still live right now here. True for you, ladies and gentlemen. Come on down. All right. We thank God for a beautiful, beautiful day. It's going so good. Ladies and gentlemen, if I have not interviewed you and you are a vendor, you need to come to the stage. You need to come see Troy from WBQP TV 12.1. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with you. We are live right now. We are broadcasting live. And I have a vendor right here. And she wants to tell the world about her vision that God has given her. She's so thankful for the opportunity that God has given her and the business and the ideas. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. My name is Barbara Short. I am from Milton, Florida. But God has blessed me to join Walls of Salvation in Pensacola, Florida. Um, about 20 years ago, God gave me a vision to start a foundation, um, not just for the children, but for the abused women and men, for the men and women getting out of prison, as well as the homeless. Um, the vision was very big, so I was frightened at first, but God has brought me along the way. He's preparing me for 
this foundation. He's already shown me some property that I'm praying on. It's 80 acres. Um, so in the middle of this 80 acres, I want to put a building that is a church that will be open 24 seven. Because with um, the men and women getting out of prison yes. and the abuse, they can't all worship together because certain issues. So the building will be open 24 seven. There will be set times that each person out of a group can go and worship and the men and women and the abused people, as well as the ones that uh, are coming out of jail and prison, they are going to be able to stay on the property for six months free. Oh, great. Free. All they have to do is work the earth, like Bob um, showed me. Because we will have cattle, we will have chickens, pigs, you know, two kinds of gardens, you know, vegetable and flower gardens and everything. So, yes, yes. So, basically, God is showing me what he's doing in the future because, you know, gas is high as well as all this. He, so, he's teaching us how to live off of the land. That's good. That's good. And then he's preparing us to train others how to be Success, successful people to have kingdom minds, to have kingdom endurance, to know, to always depend on God and turn to Him. But most of all, as the word says, humble yourself, pray, seek God, turn from your wicked ways, and He will from here from heaven to heal your land. And that's just, I just thank God. For the path that he has put me in, and I'm really praising God for walls of salvation. Oh. And I thank y'all, and y'all have a very blessed day. All right, thank you so much. And I tell you, we are going to be praying, and we're going to be just waiting and praying and seeking the Lord for your vision, and uh, we want to be a support. So if WBQP can uh, do anything for uh, advertising or helping you to make, you know, a show of some sort, um, uh, we, we have special rates that nobody else does because it's catered to fit your budget. Hallelujah. The other stations might not do that. I ain't going to call no name. But WBQP Channel 12, we are here to help. God bless you. Thank you. All right. You heard it first, ladies and gentlemen, right here on WBQP TV. We are still broadcasting live. We have children's and the bounce houses. Uh, we have uh, plenty of hot dogs and hamburgers. I tell you, I hadn't tasted one of those hamburgers yet, but I'm praying that they will bring me one of those hamburgers or hot dogs, praise God. So, <laughs> but I know that we are still cooking. Uh, we still got some vendors out here. Uh, we still have uh, my, uh, the author, the minister. Uh, she is in the house with her book. We also have a young lady that has some hair products. Uh, she got some real good products over there uh, for African Americans uh, hair. So uh, we do have we do have uh, those two vendors. We also have the honey, the honey man. Uh, he is in the house. He has 100% Pensacola honey, 100% organic honey. He's in the house. And uh, he also have some some wonderful wonderful uh, other products on there, but he's the honey man, and he has 100% organic honey. So please come and patronize our brothers and sisters. Uh, please come out and just enjoy yourself. I believe I see uh, Councilman. 
the councilman is uh, in the house, so we want her to come and speak to the people uh, from Pensacola uh, City Councilman. She's in the house. Uh, we, it, I tell you, the weather, we thank God for the weather because the weather felt so good today. Uh, it's a wonderful breeze. Uh, the sun has went behind of the uh, clouds. And I tell you, it, it just feels so comfortable. So I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed the whole day and I'm still here. We're still going strong. We're not going to be quitting until probably about seven or eight o'clock tonight, but we are still here. And we want to thank God for this opportunity here at Truth With You Parking Lot. Amen. The future home of Black Rev. Powell said we're going to have an auditorium. We're going to have a, a small library. We're going to have conference rooms. We're going to have all these wonderful things on this location for you to enjoy. So you can say, hey, I got somewhere to have my next birthday party. I got somewhere to have my next retirement party. I have somewhere to have my next election party. You know, or whatever you might have. Truth for you is here, and we are here to support as well. WBQP TV 12, we are here. Now, uh, we've been around for 30 years. We're getting ready to celebrate our 30th year anniversary. Yes, Mr. Vernon Watson. He started back in the 90s. Yes, he had God gave him a vision. Yes, God gave Mr. Vernon Watson and Mrs. Watson a vision to have this wonderful station. And also, we thank God for that. So we're coming up on our 30th year anniversary, and we're going to have a celebration like no other. And so stay tuned to WBQP for the details, for the ticket locations, and also uh, for how you can be involved. Ladies and gentlemen, I have councilman. Council lady, how Hello. you doing, sweetie? All oh, right, good to see you. Oh. We are live right now on TV. Oh, wow. We are live on WBQP TV 12. And we've been live all day. This has just been an event that we want to cover. Because it was, it was just, um, you know, helping and for the community. Everybody was involved, you know. And, and this was an event if you was an entrepreneur. They got you? <laughs> tell them. Tell them about it. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I am Tini Addy Bronson, City Council District 5. This was a very beautiful event today. I caught the end of it, and I was able to support some of our Black-owned businesses, particularly Miss Tracy's Boutique and yes, just, some, just some other things. They have wonderful African attire out here. So when I saw that streaming, I had to get down right away. Plus, I knew about the community love affair today. We've had several events this morning, and I'm ending my day, this part of my day at least, here. I would I would not want to be anywhere else except for here where our people. And thank everyone for coming out. I see the children are having fun with the blocks. Uh, you know, those blocks are really interactive. And they expose children to you know science and, and technology, engineering, and math. Um, I see that they're building a house with the blocks, so we have a future architect among us. You see, they're building, building a house. Right, it exposes them to design and architecture from a young age. I think that program, the Urban Powell's program, that includes the blue blocks is very significant. So thank you for um, putting me on the spot. <laughs> you always, you always, she's always great. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your participation. I'm definitely a supporter of the radio station. I didn't know that it also streams, but I'll be looking out. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I remember when, when I was little, my mom would do the 
the remotes, and um, she would drag us to the remote to different parts of the city. Awesome. But you're on TV now. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much. God bless you, and we appreciate you so much. It's always good to see you. You're so inspirational. Don't make me cry. Okay. God bless you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, yes, we are still live. We're still live right here at Truth the Youth Parking Lot. Ladies and gentlemen, the kids are having fun. How are you, sweetie? Thanks, thank God. Tell the world. About the world. <laughs> oh my God, she has wonderful, beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful African attire. Already. Thank you so much for that commercial. I'm Theola Bright here from Mobile, Alabama, and I'm here at the Love Affair, Community Love Affair in Pensacola. You missed it. Too bad, but I hope you will catch it next time. Because it's a worthwhile thing, and it's something that we need to come together, to love on each other. There's too much hate out there. And this was something that the whole family could participate in. We had the young people out here doing their praise dances and just having fun. And that's not too many things that we can share with the whole family as we do here at for the Love Affair. Now, I have a ministry, God has blessed me with a ministry, T.C. Bright Productions Ministry, since 2010. Yes. And I use the arts. 12, that's a good number, 12. <laughs> so, that means uh, another level there. Okay. <laughs> After 12 years. But I use the arts. Culinary, literary, performing, and visual arts to spread the good news, the gospel. Whatever I do, with God in it, pass out tracks or whatever, I find a way to get him in there. Thank you, thank so if you're ever over in Mobile, look me up, Theola Bright, um, at theolabright.com, phone number is 251-343-8138. And I'd like to include you in whatever we are doing. It's we are one, a God of love. One blood. And I thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for just coming out. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a event that they're going to be talking about for years to come, for weeks to come, for days to come. And we highly appreciate every vendor. And I can't believe, come on around, I got a hamburger. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, sis. No problem, no problem. We should take care of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You come on over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she just got that, 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 that wonderful spring. Oh, tell the world. Come on in. I'm going to give it back to you. And thank yeah. you. We just want to thank you for coming out and supporting us and being a part of the first event for CTT 365, um, everybody who came out and saw in our robbery to come hang with us. And um, we look forward to continuing working with you all in the community. So that's all I got. Oh, got a degree, huh? I'm going to pass the mic on. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this was one of my first sponsors. Yeah, she was one of my first sponsors. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Sandra Savage, known as Benita, for Southern Cuisine. Home cook meals away from home. Glad to see everyone out today and encourage you know, everyone to come on out and be supportive of what seeing what's going on with our community. Come on out, you won't be disappointed. It's good to see Pastor Troy again, and thank you for everything. Well, tell everybody about what you're doing now. You're going to get a restaurant. What's your idea? What's your well, I'm still in school now. Um, to get the certification behind my name is the chef okay. that I am. Okay. And okay. also, I'm going to be opening up within a year. Oh. Another Southern Cuisine is coming back open. Reopen up Southern right. Cooked Meals. Home Cooked Meals, away from home. Right. <laughs> I still cater. 
full time. So if you need have any event, weddings, baby showers, whatever, just call Southern Cuisine, 850-637-0767. Everyone be blessed. Thank you, sweetie. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so God be the glory. She was one of my first sponsors when I first started uh, back in, I believe it was uh, 2010 or 2011. And I'm so thankful for her and her husband, Adam. Adam, come on here, Seth. We live on WBQP, channel 12.1. Well, I just want to uh, say hey to everybody. And uh, I still support my wife. Like I support my own bitch. I'm still a mechanic. As uh, Blue Sound say, the love mechanic. When he say that, he talking about me. Uh, I'm glad you told that, that, that's, Yeah, I mean, and, and the main thing about it, Professor Trump, we have to support each other. You know, we can't just give it away. You know, we have to come out here and support each other. You know, back on, back operating, you know, stay godly, stay spiritual, and keep on moving forward. You know, we have to keep what we got and gain more than we got. Like I said, I just I support everything. And, you know, it's good to see this, you know, quiet, peaceful, humble. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. I'm going to be calling. I think I need a tune up on that Cadillac. Yeah, I need some new park gloves or something. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brother Adam. The Love Mechanic. All right. Let's see what we got here. Come on up, sweetie. How are you? We're live on television. Come on up. Oh, you want to speak? Hey, Tracy. Oh, right now. Yes, this is your opportunity. You know me, you worked together for years and still can work together because I need to pitch your business on the air. Ladies and gentlemen, here's my friend Tracy. She's going to tell you about her business. I'm the owner and operator of Tracy's Cherish Creations. I do um yeah, no, <laughs> I do personal chef and catering, um large and small. I come to your home and cook for intimate occasions and um I'm in school getting my associate's degree. I already got my color red um, certification that I've gotten years ago, but during COVID, I decided to go back and get a little bit more under my belt. But I am out there working, doing um, weddings, birthday parties, Mother Day events, all that. Um, anything that you want, um, small as small as you want or as large as you want. And as I said, I do catering as well as personal chef. And Mother's Day is coming up, those special occasions for that romantic people. I will come out and cook for you in your home and set it up real nice. And whether it's for you and just two or ten or if you have a small gathering at your house, I'll take you at Tracy's Cherish Creations dot com, Tracy's Cherish Creations on Facebook, and I'm at eight five zero two five five eight three nine six. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I tell you, it's good to see you call me because I want to get your business and let people know that, yes, she is a personal chef with a personal touch. She will come and prepare a meal. Now, that's pretty popular now, especially in the big cities, because um, I've been seeing a lot on YouTube. Oh, thank you. I've been seeing a lot on YouTube, and I've been seeing a lot on uh, those cooking channels. So you in high demand. It is so good to see you, and I'm gonna call you. And yeah, please call me. So good to see you. Thank you. It came a long way. All right. God bless you, man. Here's the famous chef. 
the famous chef. I don't call him a cook. Come on over. Mm, I can see you, brother. Mm. Oh, bless you. Hey, hey, this is Tommy with East Keys Corner Cafe at the corner of Davis and Lee, 1400 North Davis Highway. We specialize in the best smoke on this side of the Mississippi River. Uh, we have uh, smoked ribs, smoked wings. We have the world famous, our homemade, handmade pressed hamburger. Uh, we have our rice bowls, which we call our soul bowls, because we have soul. We had a little blue building with a whole lot of soul. And then that world famous Cajun bowl. That's another one of our very famous rice bowls. And we do Phillies, tacos, nachos, smoked sausage, and more. So come to East Keys Corner Cafe. Let us love on you. We uh, have our mobile mobile trucks also where we do snowballs and we do food out of also. So reach us at 850-332-5511. 850-332-5511. We do some catering also, and we're looking to partner with the other caterers are, that's out here also. So we uh, we like to partner with people because we definitely can't handle it all. So make sure we get your information so we can definitely partner with you all uh, here in the future. Um, so I just heard a lady say she's a caterer, and then um, my other lady, she's a caterer also that we're going to be partnering with. So... Again, East Keys Corner Cafe, 850-332-5511 at the corner of Davis and Lee, right there on the east side with a little blue building with a whole lot of soul. So come see us. Best smoke on this side of the Mississippi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is true because I had the ribs last Sunday and I was telling his wife how busy he was, but still... You took care of my wife. Those tacos was good. They were very delicious. We got ribs too. Yep, and the ribs was good too. <laughs> well, thank you so much, brother. Pleasure, man. I'm gonna get by and eat next week. Hey, come see us, man. Hang out. We got the outdoor patio. I love the color. I love, I love, the, love color. the theme. It makes me feel like I'm in little. Hacienda. Yeah, it's it's, actually, it's a Caribbean thing. Those are actual Bohemian colors. Those are actual Bohemian colors, and uh, so it's an outdoor cafe. So come out, hang out. We got a picnic area in the back. You can come out and kick it. So it's meant to feel like you're, you know, you're in the islands. You're on the coast. We're on the coast. So come see us, and uh, if you got an event or need a little space to hang out, hey, just let us know. Okay. okay. Well, I tell you, I'm going to keep that in mind because. Uh, Make sure you get in touch with Vern, okay. uh, Mr. Watson, my boss, because we're coming up. Uh, I'm going to say it's already made. I mean, what, to, tomorrow? <laughs> I think what, today is the 30th. Yeah, tomorrow will be first. That's right. So we're coming up on our 30th anniversary. Woo. And we are going to need a good hater. Okay. And you know you are one of our number one sponsors on Saturdays yes. on the Blue hey. Show. Blues out. Yes. Matter of fact, man, Vernon, Mr. Vernon, go back a long time ago. I actually used to do what you're doing at the at the TV station when they were uh, off of Q Street or P Street over yes. there. And when I first got here in '95, when I first got here in the Navy, I used to just go there and volunteer and run the boards for them. Long that, that yeah, that little time ago. So we go way back, and his son. Uh, Vernon D DJ Thump, he, he actually DJed our daughter's wedding. So, yeah, we have relationships with the Watson family uh, that goes back many, many years. So we, we look forward to any way we can help you. And, and also, May 13th, we have a shoe drive. Yes, uh, we partnered uh, with some friends. They have a shoe drive, and they're going to be sending shoes over to Haiti and things of that nature. So That's I'll send you some information on that. Exactly. So this, I will get it. So we'll have a shoe drive May 13th. So lightly worn shoes, things of that nature, bring it out. Uh, it's going to be from like 11 to 4. So at East Kings Corner Cafe. So, hey, uh, that's going to be a Friday. And uh, just come out and see us, hang out with us. Let us love on you, East Kings Corner Cafe. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to it. Make right. sure you uh, let me know when it is, and I'll come over to stuff. And uh, don't worry about it. You already know about sponsors. Yes. And I, I thank God for my son. He just got back from the hospital. He 
uh, fell out on you earlier, so oh, you got a little bit too high. How are you feeling, son? Good. Thank you. Cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. God bless you. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you. Delicious. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still rolling. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We have an African band. We have an African band that's getting ready to take the stage. And I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this treat. So stick around. We're still live right here at True for You parking lot. We're still live right here in downtown Pensacola on the blocks, Belmont and the Village. So we thank God for God sending this cool breeze. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it really, really feels good out here. So stop by. We're going to be out here for another couple hours. And uh, we, like I said, we have a, uh, a real authentic African band that's been to take the stage. And we've been to get them hooked up. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. We're live right here on WBQP, channel 12.1, right here in Pensacola. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you how you can get all of our stations. You can get 12 .1, 12 .2, 12 .3, 12 .4, 12 .5, 12 .4, 12.1, 12.2, 12.3, 12.4, 12.5, 12.6, and 12.7, 12.8 is my favorite because that is the local station. Everything that we are doing today is going to be on channel 8. It's going to be on channel 12.8. 12 12.8 is the hub for the Pensacola area. Everything that, that's going on, as much as we can shoot it and get the video, is going to be on channel 12.8. And I'm telling you, the only way to get 12.8, our local, local event station, is to get your antenna. Now, I'm going to tell you how to do that right quick. You can simply go to Best Buy, Walmart, and get you a amplified HD antenna. Now, if you live in Pensacola City Limits, if you live in Pensacola, South Escambia County, you are missing over 80 channels for free in HD Perfect Clarity. All you have to do is get your HD amplified antenna, uh, install it outside, for better coverage, or you can get one for inside. But ladies and gentlemen, if you do that and add that with your smart TV, you can save yourselves over $1,400 a year by cutting the cord, by not spending money on cable. So if you decide to cut the cord and you want to get this free programming Please do so. You can save yourself once again over fourteen hundred dollars a year, and it's very simple. Get that HD antenna, hook it up to your smart TV, and you can have local channels. Also, you can have Netflix, you can have Amazon, and you can have have your other little streaming channels too mixed in with your local with the local antenna. And you can see WBQP TV 12.1 and 12.8, all the way to 12.9 and 12.10. You can see all 10 of our channels by getting that antenna and adding it to the back of your smart TV. And just simply scan your smart TV. And you can cut the cord, save yourself over $1,400 a year by cutting the cord, get rid of cable, and you can add that HD antenna onto your smart TV so you can watch Netflix, you can watch your HBO subscriptions all through your smart TV and it will be mixed in 
with your antenna feed that's coming through your HD antenna. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, it is the best way to watch television. It is the best way to enjoy and save money. And it is the only way to catch all 10 channels of WBQP TV 12. All the way to uh, all the way to 12.10. Now, uh, we having a good time. We're still live. I do see some vendors are packing up, but guess what? We still have the kids are here playing in the bounce houses. The kids are still playing in the obstacle course. Uh, we still got the honey man. He's still getting those, those traps ready. He's getting ready to uh, he's got plenty of 100% organic honey. And I'm going to tell you about this organic honey. I love to use it and drizzle a little bit over my salads. And I'm telling you, I am a ranch person. But I put the ranch first, and then I drizzle that honey on top of that ranch. And I'm telling you, I might add just a sprinkle of pecans on top. And Lord have mercy. I am enjoying myself. So uh, we got the honey man out. <laughs> yes, it's called a HD antenna from Walmart. And I'll take you the one that I prefer everybody to get that I know that works because I've been I tested so many. And it run about $44 at Walmart. And you just install it. I installed mine right on the side of my house. And I'm telling you, I get 85 channels, and I got it hooked to my smart TV, and I'm able to keep my Netflix. I can't live without my Netflix. And what's that other streaming network we have? Uh, Hulu and uh, Paramount Plus and Disney Plus. Got to have that for the kids. And I have my HD antenna hooked to smart TV. I got all of my local channels mixed in with that. So I'm able to watch the news, see what's going on in Pensacola, double news, and I'm able to watch 12.1 all the way to 12.10, and it's the only way to get the 12.8. 12.8 is filled with unlimitedly local people, local event, local church services, local everything. I pit, we put that on, on that because that's our local network. Uh, we got movies. I'm talking about good black wholesome movies on 12.1. And we have the classics retro uh, on 12.2. Uh, and we have some other, um, you know, the, the people like me, I like westerns as well. We have westerns. And we have some of those old uh, 80s and 90s shows. They're all there. You can get one for the outside, or you can get one to go on the inside. So I'll send you two. So uh, if you don't want to pick one on the outside, you can pick one on the inside, and you'll just set it near a window. And I'm telling you, you can pick up. It's worth, it's worth it. And you can save over $1,400 a year. Because cable right now, they tell me the bills are running $200 a month. And you don't get HBO and Cinemax. So I'm like, why are y'all paying for TV and you spending 100% or 90% watching Netflix? And you got a smart TV. All you need is that HD antenna and you can get us. And it adds all of your local channels, uh, channel 3, 5, 12, all of us. And, and, and it's worth it. So I'll text you with that information. All right. And that's my lovely wife. That's Tracy. Yeah. We all used to work together. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I am going to hook that the band up. We got an African band. I think the Pensacola finest musician is here. Uh, Chris is in the house. He is the best on the Hammond. There's no other Hammond player in Pensacola cannot beat it. He plays at my church, and his sister, she sings every chance I can get her to sing, 
and and we just so thankful so stay tuned don't go nowhere you're gonna miss a treat if you do so stay tuned and i'm going to get them hooked up and and so stay tuned right here on wbqp channel 12. Uh, we have our band here our uh african band i tell you anytime they perform i always enjoy so they're here to perform for us live right here and i'm going to give the microphone and then and he's going to introduce the band I'm alive. Well, this is a general. My name is Pulia. This is uh, Palimpa Tree, Afro uh, Percussion Troupe. Uh, so we're going to be playing a few uh, traditional African rhythms today. You know, so it's a beautiful day out here. Okay. Just enough flowers in the sky to make it nice and cool. So we got we got uh, got Rob Robinson over there on the Congo. Uh, uh, we got we got Alan Alan. Uh, y'all don't have to pass my y'all. Carl Greaves, Alan. Well, we got some we got some African dancers out here too. They're gonna be coming pretty soon. And we got Joseph. Okay, cool. We got Joseph and Camilla also in the grounds with the decision. Okay? So we're going to get live. It's just going to take a couple of minutes or so. We got a few things everybody working on, trying to work out. So when they get it all together, we're going to start kicking this thing. Okay? So anybody out there like African drumming? Can you say yeah? yeah. yeah. <laughs> say yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Coming to you straight from the motherland, baby. We're going to kick it. I'm 
got local young ladies out here going to do active dance. We're going to let the chameleons introduce them. See if there's a few chameleons. I got to see. Camera, y'all got to catch a chameleon. Okay, everyone. We have the Monster Panthers African Dance Show. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead and line up so I can say our name and everybody know who you are. Okay. When I say your name, put your hand in the air. All right. First, we have Zariah. Azaria, Riley, Community, Terriel, Jashanti, Morgan, Dariana, and Diana. I'm sorry, Diana. All right, so this is my stuff in this African dance These are all a group of fifth grade girls who attend one Claire elementary who want to do something different and represent who they are. All right, so let's get it, girls. Y'all ready? Are you ready? Okay, I go. All right. <laughs> And afterwards, we're going to do a little step, okay? So we found this dance, um, yeah, we found this dance on YouTube, just to try something out, and they did a great job with it, so we're going to keep with it and add to it. Afterwards, they're going to do a step that represents the HBCU. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, now you better break it down. Come on now.
What you got there, sister? Thank you. 
give me that first note back. I don't need that. Thank you all so very much. This is, uh, I've been listening to uh, the Limba Tree, African Drum Troop. I've got Rob Robinson on the end over there. Raise your hand, Rob. Got Carl, Carl Greaves. Got, got our transplant, Alan Williams, who's down here from Chicago on the bass, the baddest bass drummer in the South. We got my man Joseph. We, we call him Papa Wolf. Do it one time. Oh. And when you hear him howling, baby, you know it's going to be live. One and only, Papa Wolf. My name is Polian. Uh, we got the chameleon. Come on in the chameleon so they can see. We have all of beautiful girls. Come on, introduce your girls. We'll do it again. All right, come. On. Okay. All right. So this is the Month Self Panthers African Dance Troupe. This is Morgan. This is Bridie. Zion. Azaria. Zariah, yeah. Dariana, Jashanti, yeah. Serenity, yeah. and Sariel. Yeah. This is us. These are all fifth grade students from one pair of students and doing it well. How do y'all? Thank y'all so much for coming out. Beautiful, y'all drive safe. Oh, they want, oh, they want to do this step one more time. So, 
Amen. So they're going to do their step one more time. Okay, from Montclair Elementary School. Yeah, you better work it out. Hold it. Hold it. Thank <laughs> you. 
for the kids so we want you to help out if you can and God will bless you it's also 100% tax deductible so come on in it's that blue jug right there beside the WBQP TV 12 sign <laughs> Now, the man I 
wanna tell y'all a little something about He looks so good, it looks like everybody else in my mouth I can't believe the way he makes me wanna scream and shout Can I get a witch to take this picture? Can we work it out? They say it's hard to be like and I don't want them to go But I ain't never in the tight Could not get what I want You We said up, so stick around. The best is about to come. We're going to tune everything up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
testing one, testing one, two, one, two, test, 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 testing one, two, test one. Stick around, stick around. The best is yet to come. This is how you spend a beautiful Saturday evening. Stick around, we're going. The band is going to be playing in about five minutes. It's still 25. Stick around, the best is yet to come. This is truly has been a wonderful, wonderful, blessed event. Truly been a good event. I'm gonna be your man. I'm gonna be your man. 
How y'all feeling, ladies and gentlemen? I say, how y'all feeling today? Check this out. We're going to have my little sister Monique. Come on. Check, 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 check. All right, there we go. We're going to have my little sister Monet come up. It's her day. Y'all make some noise for Monet, ladies and gentlemen. I said, put your hands together. Come on. Break it down. Oh. 
I was born underwater with three dollars and six nine. Yeah, you may laugh as well, but you did not do your math. Like one, two, three, four, one, two, three. The world's turning. Oh, what a day! What a day! What a day! The man that knows something knows that he knows nothing at all. Does it seem harder in your winter time and colder in your fall? But if, if we were made in this endless and call us by our names, most intellects will not believe in God. But the rest just the same Everybody sing on and on And on and on Sit on and on On and on Sit on and on And on and on Sit on and know, and on and on Right to the break I, 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 I am feeling kind of hungry Cause my high is coming down Don't be me, yours is what Cause you're going to sign a door I think I need a cup of tea the world is turning, oh what a day, what a day, what a day, you rush into destruction, cause you don't have nothing left, my mother said can't save you, so I guess you're gonna get left, but if we were made it, and this is call us by our name, she tells you not, Believe in God, but the universe is just the same. Everybody, see on and on and on and on. I said we keep going like the rolling stones. Sit on and on and on and on and on and on. Sit on and on and on and on. Sit on and 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 on Sit on and on and on and on all night till the break of dawn. You have any music soul child fans out there? Y'all help me with this one. Let me see your hands. Put your hands together. Come on. One more time. Da, 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 you let me know if I'm out of beautiful Step into you this way See, I've been watching you for a while And I just gotta let you know that I'm really digging your style And said I had to know your name And leave you with my number If it's cool, maybe you'll call me someday But if you don't well, baby, it's cool, but if you do, well, I ain't mad at you, cause we can still be cool, cause I'm not trying to pressure you, just can't stop thinking about you, you ain't even really gotta be mine, cause I just wanna know your name, and maybe sometime, so we can hook up. Hang out to chill, yeah. I said, hey, I'm surprised that you caught. Cause from the way you walked away, I thought I won't go see you no more. Yeah. Since you didn't want to give me your name, I thought that you would.
would take a day. It was a day to be. But in a way, she was in the world tonight. I'll probably be with my peeps. If it's cool, maybe you are the sweet pie. Or we can just chill. Or you can just chill with me. Long as you're comfortable, you feel secure. When you're with me, cause I'm not trying to pressure you. Just can't stop thinking about you. You ain't even really gotta be mine. I just wanna know your name and maybe sometime so we can hook up, hang out, just chill. Said I'm not trying to pressure you, just can't stop. Said you ain't even really. Said I just wanna know your name and maybe sometime so we can hook up, hang out. So we can hook up and hang out and dance to chill. So we can hook up and hang out and dance to chill. So we can hook up, hang out, just chill. So we can hook up, hang out, just chill. Stay right there. So we can hook up, hang out, just chill. So we can hook up, hang out. So we can hook up and hang out and just chill. So we can hook up, hang out, just chill. Cause I'm not trying to pursue you. Just can't stop thinking about you. You ain't even really gotta be mine. Cause I just want to know your name. And maybe sometime so we can hook up, hang out. Just you, 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 so we can hook up and hang out and just chill. So we can hook up, hang out, just chill. Yeah. Hook up, hang out, just chill, yeah. Cause I can't look, it'll be fun. If you want my feet, you can do it. Don't be shy, give it a try. I can be yours and you can be mine. I can't lie, it'll be fly. If you want my big, you did the one. Don't be shy, give it a try. I can be yours and you can be mine. 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 Yes, you can. Ooh, oh, oh. Woke up this morning. With a smile on my face Pulled out of bed Took a shower of a train Cleaned up my place Yeah It made me some breakfast home to scramble eggs. Grab my keys, grab my purse, grab my jacket, all to work. Beaming all the way down the earth. Is this the way? Come on, if you know it. Lula. Me, baby. Is it, is it the way you love me, baby? Oh, 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 o
else I got something else to do Yeah Go ahead Really Get your groove on Cause tonight My man is coming through Yeah We gonna have to connect Some of the time as much as I like to do my thing on the dance floor, I got another nasty freaking just right in my mind. Tonight I'll be the hardest to get it away. You love. Hey, baby, is it, is it, is it the way you love me, baby? Oh, oh, is this the way you love me, baby? Is this the way you love me, baby? Is this the way? The way? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it the way? Is it the way, the way, oh, is it, is this the way you love me, baby? Thank you. It 
It just won't stop it go. It just won't stop. It just won't stop it go. It just won't stop. It just won't stop it go. Sit head over here, heels in a row. Right in front of you, ain't gotta look no more, babe. I wanna pay you with this love. Right in front of you, ain't gotta look no more. You got me pulled up, pulled up, pulled up, pulled up. Told you from the jump, I'm the one to choose. You got me pulled up, pulled up, pulled up, pulled up. Grab me by the waist, baby, pull me closer. No, I never get over you until I find something new. Give me high like you do. Oh, said I never get over you until I find something new. Give me high like you do. Listen to my heart go wild. Put up, it just won't stop it go. It just won't stop, just won't stop it go. It just won't stop, it just won't stop it go. Oh, I've been tripping, I've been, I've been tripping. That's how I get drunk. This feeling you've been giving, you've been giving me you up. Know that I've been tripping. I've been sipping, I've been tripping, that's how I get drunk. This feeling you've been giving, you've been giving it you up. You know that I've been tripping, I've been sipping, I've been tripping, that's how I get drunk. This feeling you've been giving, you've been giving it you up. You know that I've been tripping. I've been sipping, I've been tripping, that's how I get so This feeling you've been giving, you can't give it, you are. You know that I've been tripping, I've been sipping, I've been tripping, that's how I get so This feeling you've been giving, you can't give it, you are. You know that I've been tripping, I've been tripping, I've been tripping, that's how I get so You've been giving, you've been giving it you up. Uh, so you've been giving in, you've been giving me, you've been giving me these feelings, all of these feelings. Oh, said oh, oh. I'll never get over you till I find something new, something new. Something you know oh, 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 oh. Thank you so much. Thank you all for having me. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all make some noise for Monet. Thank you, thank you. We got another gig to go to. Once again, we are the fun kids, but this is Monet. She hired us for this gig today to play behind me. This is my little sister. Y'all make some noise one more time. Put your hands give up. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Y'all follow her social media. She got music out and everything. Y'all go look her up right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Miss you T. So Thank you, Miss T, for having me. Thank you, guys. Until next time. And she song, give it up, ladies and gentlemen. She song like it was a crowd in beat. She gave all her heart. Yeah. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. And we're live and live. We've been live all day. We do thank WBQP TV. We thank my boss and I, Mr. Vernon Watson. And ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you guys too. So stick around for just a little bit. We are going to be packing up. But ladies and gentlemen, it's been a blast. What I would like to do in just a few minutes, we're going to be uh, interviewing the organizer in about five minutes. We're going to be interviewing her and we're going to be closing our segment, but hang around. Oh my God, this has been such a wonderful day and it's been a blessed, blessed day.
Say, baby, look at me. You ain't gotta try to play game on me. You ain't gotta try to take advantage. You ain't gotta try to get over. None of that. All you gotta do is ask me. And I'ma say yes. Every time. Girl, 
Girl, you find it's wrong here. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Pops and Roxy. Pops and Roxy for being in the house. She got that bling, bling, bling. She got that bling, bling. She teach me on my cell phone. So y'all hear Pops and Roxy, huh? She also signed a piece up for an independent record. So if you want to be an independent rep, go see us, go see that white man. She got a whole teaching, and she said she got room for you. Also, I got me some of that pimple gold. Come on, it's funny. Oh, yeah. In the morning, I'm going to have no fresh hot biscuits. Mama get up, she gon' roll that dough, and she gon' make me some homemade biscuits. And she said, all I got to do is put the butter and the honey on the biscuits. So I'm looking forward to that honey, man. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna pledge and buy the same size we bought every two months. I would pitch your WBQP ride and you beat your own show. You know you too, Paparazzi. You beat your own show. God says it's time to make a move. He said it's your time now. It's your time. So we have to listen to God. Yes, sir. 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 I you no way you can't have anything you want you can have anything you want from me, yeah. And we'd we'll like to also thank Reverend John Powell Singer. He is the best, ladies and gentlemen. And we want to thank his son for helping him. Yeah, I always call him Ben, so he's going to get me straight on that name, but he know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Love you, man. And we thank all of you guys. We're going to close it out in front of the camera. We've been live on WBQP 12.1 all day. It's truly been a wonderful event, ladies and gentlemen. And we thank you. We want to thank you so much for coming in. Y'all can come and gather around the camera. We are still live and we're going to close it out. This is the Pox and Roxy, and she has the last few closing words. And I tell you, when my vendors stay around to the last of the last, I give them an opportunity again. And I want my rib man to come too. You got to say something. Okay, he said he tied. Okay, he's coming. All right. So I, when the vendors stay around for the last of the last of the cream of the crop, I give them another opportunity to say something good to the people. But Pops and Roxy, God says it's your time. I just want to say thank you for allowing me to come out and to show my beautiful jewelry and just give me an opportunity to represent God who is the head of my life. I try to do everything that he tells me to do. We don't know why. We don't know the reason why he says move or to be still. We just have to be obedient and listen to his voice. So I just thank you for coming out. Me and my husband, Charles Moses. Come over here, Charles. Come on yes, over here. Yes, my honey. <laughs> and, uh, we will be Friday night at um, Happy Hour downtown on Jefferson. And what's that, baby? Park, Paragona. Tarragona. Tarragona. And uh, we'll be venting down there. He'll be cooking his famous food, and I'll be selling my jewelry and my clothing. So you guys come on out. If you need a private showing of jewelry and clothing, you can call me at 850-209-1261. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, Helen. Oh, Helen. I will be calling you. Now, tell everybody about becoming an independent rep. This is so important and why they should sign up today. Okay. Well, it's $99. You can start up with a starter kit, and then you get your own personal website that Paparazzi gives you. It's nothing like stepping out on face and being your own boss. I've been um, 
in sales for like the last 30 years and somebody approached me about selling paparazzi and I said I didn't have time but the Lord told me to wait and to listen. But once I prayed on it, the Lord told me to go forward and I was able to take care of my mother who died in September. She's 89 years old. I was able to stay at home Praise and God. take care of my mom and to sell my jewelry. We didn't miss a beat. Hallelujah. So you can be your own boss and be afraid about you don't know how to sell or whatever. It sells itself. The jewelry sells itself. The only thing you have to do is just wear it. Okay? And it gives you a freedom of being your own boss, doing your own hours. Maybe you have uh, children. You need to stay at home. You can't afford to pay daycare. It allows you to do things for your family. So for $99, Starting off, you can call me again at 850-209-1261 or hit me up on Facebook or a messenger and ask me how and I can teach you how to grow your business and to be independent. Thank you. Y'all give a hand. All righty. Come on, sweetie. How are you doing? I think I know you. You look yeah. familiar in front of that bonnet there. How are you doing? Hey, I'm Candy Warren. And this is my business here, Sister the Grow CC Revelation. Audit, Come a little planning, uh, face painting, what I did today with the kids. I love children, so look for the future for other things I will be doing with children and adults. So, Sisters and Brothers, CC Revelation, Tammy Warren. I will be on Facebook. And tell me your phone number again. 850-346. Three, two, three, five. Thank you very much. All righty. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a true success right here at Truth For You. We thank God for a wonderful, safe day. We thank God for a wonderful, blessed day. It's been a day of empowerment. This is all has been uh, brought to you by the wonderful organization change tomorrow today 365 yes uh we didn't see one drop of rain no. we saw a few clouds and we want to thank all of our sponsors and i don't want to leave any of them out so i'm going to use this phone to make sure i say that all of their names because if it was not for the sponsors we could not have hosted the event and it is always a pleasure to partnership with people who want to be partners. <laughs> and so they elected to be partners, and we want to give them all of the advertisement and let them know just how much we appreciate them. So I'm going to, you know, we always saw it from the top and go down. I'm going to start from the bottom and go up. And so we have Mount Mariah, AME Zion Church, Escambia County Sheriff's Department. We have Regal Beauty. Truth for Youth, yeah. Real Women Radio, Tobacco Free Florida, Democratic Women's Club of Escambia County, WRNE 980, West Florida Construction, Polymetry, Gulf Coast Pathway Properties, and Florida Power and Lights. And they were here today. And they had great gifts for all of the participants here today and gave us important information about why we should not smoke. You know, our life depends on us not smoking. And on top of that, it is the one decision that we have full control over to smoke, 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 or not smoke, not smoke. So I want to thank everyone for coming out today, all of our vendors. I would love to recite the names of the vendors, but I'm afraid I might leave someone out because we had many here. And, uh, you know, we just have to be careful about our weatherman because they put this anxiety in us about rain 40%, and we did not see one drop. Not one drop. Not one drop. We Thank had you, sun shining. We had clouds overcast, which we needed some time because it was warm. Yeah. And we ate well today. Uh, and we did a lot. Uh, we had many vendors that were offering a variety of things. And, uh, you know, you can look at the list that we have on uh, our page. But again, I want to thank the vendors. 
I want to thank Mr. Vernon Watson, WBQP. Couldn't have happened. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without him. I want to thank Charles Sims and his family. And you know, we had a little minor incident out here, and we still on TV. <laughs> so we had a little accident, a little freak for a moment, and we got freaked out of that thing real good, and everything is, is good and in order, just as we have requested for this day, for this love affair for our community. So this is our first inaugural community love affair. We want to do it again next year and the year after that and so forth and so on. And so we want the community to be aware as we start to see vendors and entertainers. We have some great entertainers too. Let's not forget that. Amen. Uh, we have Polymetry who showed up and showed out. We had Moni, who just left, her song. Uh, you can see her on Facebook and on WBQP as well. She showed out, too. I mean, yeah. successful. Had me pat my feet, clap my hand. And that's what, And I kind of bobbed a little bit because it was good, right? It was good it was. to me. Yeah. And so I wish y'all were all here to have heard what she um, she sung. She sung some beautiful songs, and she has a beautiful voice. And not only her. Uh, but we had little girls dancing for us. We had the uh, Montclair Panthers Club troupe. Uh, it did an excellent job. As a matter of fact, they love what they do so much. They kept dancing and yeah. dancing and dancing. We had to push them off the floor here with some cupcakes and candy and, and uh, candy apples and some chocolate covered pretzels that we had saved for them to have after they danced. Then we had the Soulful Movement troupe. Um, and, and let me tell you, the Montclair Panthers, their director is uh, Camelia Willis. And then we had the, um, let me think who I was going to say, Soulful Movement Troop. And their director is Fallon Ehrlichton. And so we appreciate all of that, and especially with our children, because that's who we're, you know, our future. And we're trying to make the world be better for them. And so we want them to know that we are committed to helping them grow and to be all that they can be be a success in everything that they attempt. And if dancing is it, a lot of people make a lot of money dancing, so be it. And so again, I must say thank you. We're gonna close out today. I thank everyone for their support. And and yes, oh, I forgot. Whoa, he, he, he was really good. I mean, he was so good, he had to come off the stage and get in front of the stage to yeah. talk to us. And we listened. And there again, we were, whoo, we were just excited. We had some good hand clapping and your tune was good to our soul and our spirit. Yes. And I just thank you. So a person just reminded me of that. And that person is Tommy White. And he's coming, ne coming next. And he's going to tell you what he did out here today and how he wants to do it again and how he wants to be better in this community. And we're in love. Don't tell nobody. Ms. Tony Anderson, <laughs> Dr. Tony Anderson, thank you. This is Keeps Corner Cafe. And also Tracy's Boutique representing out here today. Uh, Tracy's with her whole boutique, my wife. Uh, you can find us at 1400 Davis Highway, which is right next door to the cafe uh, with our uh, next to our green space. But I want to thank you for organizing and putting this together and for contacting us and uh, allowing us to be a part of this. We really enjoyed it. We look forward to the next event next year. Thank you all. God bless you and your daughter in Denver. I spoke with her first, and uh, is that is, all right? Come here, give, come give some love. I spoke with her on the phone first, and she just welcomed them. Thank you. I forget what's your name. Gastonio. Gastonio. That's right. right? So, and I greatly appreciate y'all. It takes a lot you. to put on an event. We're partners, and it's good to show the love and appreciate one another. And that's what we did today. And I want to thank him. I mean, he worked and, and, and gave us three hamburgers. Sure and did. then whatever was left over there for them cook, he cooked that too. And they ate <laughs> <laughs> it. Was it was It was enjoyable. Anytime. Yes, you we know, did. Sometimes it's, uh, it's better to serve than to sell. Yes. So, and uh, today was that day. So, Lord, you know, we came, we found up as vendors, but the Spirit of the Lord said, hey, man, just just serve it instead of selling it. And I was like, you know, I told him, I think I'm just going to give these out. And you did. And uh, it was he not great. only gave them out, but he took them. Yeah. We had a line. I had to wait. No <laughs> line for my hamburger. I had to put somebody else in line for me to wait for my burger because he was saying it right out. Uh, but anyway, so he cooked good. something else for us. So it was just delicious. Well, thank God you. bless. Thank, thank you all. Thank you all have an awesome, you. awesome night. And thank you again. WPQB, Brandon Watson, yes. Devarney. God bless. We yes. love you all. Yes, Appreciate you all. And thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you.
All right. All right. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a day of love, uh, fulfillment, and excitement. And I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we have been uplifting one another. And I believe that we're going to prosper together. I see another gentleman, the pastor. I would like for him to come up because he's been hard a hard worker today. He has been helping you, I believe. From the beginning. From inception, from inception, from when we read our first meeting, he was right there with us. Now that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. I'm gonna introduce him to you. Uh, let you introduce him. Okay, be glad to. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it. Check it out. <laughs> Come on. Well, this is Reverend Jesse Turner, the pastor of Mount Moriah AME Zion Church, mm -hmm. and he was with me from the beginning. Open up some doors for the change tomorrow today, 365, to hold the community love affair. And we so appreciate him for his diligent work with us in all phases. He's still here tonight working. And so it's a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful opportunity to know and partner with someone who is a servant, right? Because yeah. I did the same walking that he did, and I told him, I don't know, maybe an hour ago, he was dragging, I was dragging, and I said, well, we, you and I are in the same boat. So don't tell me nothing about being tired, but it was fun, and tired is good. You know, if I'm going to live and be vertical, I want to do all that I can do yeah. to change lives, to love on people as much as I possibly can, and I am done, and I thank you again. I can't thank you enough. And here's Reverend Jesse Turner. Our pastor of uh, Mount Moriah AME Zion Church. He's going to close us out, I guess. And close us out in a prayer. Okay. Well, I thank God uh, for everything. Uh, for all these wonderful people who came out and supported us and helped us, you know. And uh, I'm always reminded of Romans 8 that all things work for the good to those who are called according to his purpose. And we just wanted to come out and show the love and, and, and continue. You know, uh, one thing about love, when, when, when love shows up, Satan wants to come in. Yeah, yeah. You know, he wants to deal with the whole situation, but we just continue to love and continue to spread and do what we can to do. We thank everyone that participated. We thank everyone who uh, helped us in prayer and whatever service you did. We thank you so much. Uh, at Mount Moriah, we ask you to come out and, and join us as we try to just build the kingdom. And we, I, I am so grateful to be a part of this team. When Napoleon called me and he told me he had someone he wanted me to meet that he thought I could work with, and he introduced me to Dr. Steele. It was wonderful. And uh, we, just, we just hit it, and we just hit the floor running, uh, trying to do everything that we could do. And... Uh, I thank everyone. Uh, I thank Mr. Hill. I thank WBQP. I thank everyone. I thank Reverend Powell. And I, I just hope you, you all continue to contribute to him and what he's trying to do. He's been working for over 20 years in this area with our kids. And, and, and we got to keep on, keep on trying to help him do what he do. Uh, Gastonia, she was our administrator. She held the whole pie together Come on. as we have continued to work, you know. So, uh, you know, that, that's just the way things are. And uh, we thank you all. We hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, into tomorrow and Mother's Day, we just uh, ask you whatever you do, whatever you do for Christ will last. And we ask that you do it for love. All right. God, thank you. God, we praise you and lift you up, dear Father. We thank you for allowing us one more opportunity to serve you, Lord. And in our serving, our serving is not in vain if even one has found you in this situation. So we thank you, Father, and we continue to lift you up and learn that we work together in all things. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. We love you. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching this live broadcast that's been brought to you.
by no other than WBQP Channel 12.1. And ladies and gentlemen, we thank Mr. Vernon Watson, my boss. I'm Troy Nem Senior. And I thank my staff. I want them to come around and just wave at the camera. I thank my lovely wife. And she has been a true inspiration and a, a, a true uh, go-getter at this. And we thank my son, Troy Jr., which is feeling so good. We thank God for blessing him and giving him strength to be able to come back and want to come back to, to be in this wonderful, wonderful event. God bless you. We love you from WBQP. WBQP, Channel 12.